Hello, my gorgeous fellow D&D players. Welcome to Sunday Night Madness. Oh, no. So no, yesterday... We need. Hello. What'd you say, man? That, that's, a, that's an intro that we should have for every one of Lou's Twitch streams. <laughs> well, my stream is twitching right now. Am I? My uh, <laughs> whopping, and your might help. My whopping zero viewers. <laughs> if if oh, your well, stream well, is twitching, well, you may well, need to see a numbers. doctor. That's what you think. Look at that. We bumped those numbers up. There we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, I was supposed to be adding my charisma, and I forgot. So last week, I freaking I rolled a one on one of the attacks. Sorry, I just and look at that. I would have had at so least four like, damage. It looks like you can hit stuff now. Son of a bitch. Well, the attack is automatically added. He's talking about the damage. Yeah, I forgot to add uh, to modify it to put my charisma. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's Oops. rough, bud. <laughs> I mean, it was you, three more damage. You, but... We won that you fight. We bad that you should feel bad. How dare thee. Uh, who are we missing? I only see four of you in uh, the game. Uh, it looks like Jimmy. Nate. Oh yeah, Jimmy's up for the week. I know Jimmy's, Jimmy's out. out for the week. Oh wait, who's late? I'm. I'm uh, Nate isn't in, oh. the, in the roll I'm, twenty yet. I'm here in spirit. But Jimmy you... is just gonna be out. Are you getting here later? Did I miss that? No, no, no I'm. I'm getting set up now. Oh, okay. You're having problems with it, right? Is that you that typed that? No, I did. Oh. Somebody was yeah. having problems with somebody somewhere, something. Sometime. So well, wait. Roll 20 has uh, forced me to restart twice today. Yeah. Roll 20 was not happy loading for me. Roll 20, why do you have to be like that? So they don't pay their interns enough. That's <laughs> probably true. I do wish sometimes I wish there was a better platform to use but I feel like all the platforms kind of have their pros and cons yeah and this one at least I'm like used to it it's cons by now yeah. but that's the big thing is uh, what everybody's used to like if I had to re-enter all my games for a different platform it would just be like such a pain I better, I'm better off just making more content than trying to shift it. Yeah. But, alright. Oh no, now we're down to three people. Uh, what is going on? You're not in there. I see your Twitch, but I don't oh, see Oh, that's you. why. Because I had to restart my API scripts. Uh, womp womp. Well, right. I'm Hang hoping to, tonight's going to be better than last night for me. <laughs> what happened last night? How do I turn TPK. off my camera? Oh. Out of the abyss, TPK. Are you seeing oh, another scared. DM? How dare you? Thought we were exclusive. Yes. No. <sighs> I should have asked. You always ask. You don't assume. You always need to make sure your relationships, you know. Yeah. Gotta, that gotta was check a good that. idea. Twitch, it's always a good idea to see, to see if you're in a monogamous relationship with your DM. Yeah, I know. Never Os I know Oswin's you freaky. Yeah, that's that's all mine. Oh boy! Oh yeah! Oh boy! <laughs> all right, I'm back. You guys have like three dates a week, man. Hey, me and Matt are in a committed D and D relationship. I mean, I'm even more with Mary. I'm, I'm, I'm with Mary like four days a week, and there are some days Mary and Matt are dating me at once. It's crazy. <laughs> there are some days I date twice you a twice a week too, getting, man. What getting, little... yeah, you guys, uh, you really love Damn me. Gets around. I get, I get around. <laughs> you know what it is, Lou? Is you, I saw you got a haircut and it looks really good, so I'm gonna oh. spend more time with you. I heard that. I've had, I've gotten some compliments on that, so it makes me feel. Good. I like. Join the stream. I was like, "Damn, Lou looks really good." Like, hey, 
Hey there. I'm like, this is, this is oddly surprising. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> surprising? <laughs> All right, now I don't feel as good. <laughs> I was, I, but, like, but for real, though, I looked at it, I was like, oh, damn, that actually looks like a really good haircut. Yeah, I was uh, I was getting tired of the long hair. It was too hot, so <clears throat> got to cut. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, not that kind of hot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe to some people. I was more talking about temperature-wise. Hello. Yeah. Hello. We got Hello. tired of seeing Lou do the emo flip yeah. during stream. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. My hair right now. Emo hair. Emo hair. Uh, okay. Where were we? Oh, of course, it's Jimmy's Talk turn to describe. How viewer. This is... Uh-huh. This is obviously uh, planned. Yeah, oh, I have to miss this week, guys. Oh, is it my I mean, turn? He's a teacher, so he knows how this works. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to skip assignments. Exactly. Uh, uh, beans will gladly take scribe if nobody else wants to. All right, beans. Sure, I can do a beans. Uh, we have beans. As uh, this is your fourth week of quartermaster. Cool. Uh, and, uh, we have Oswin as the previous scribe. Uh, so. Indeed. Do you want to keep the story point or pass it along? I'll keep it. All right. I don't, I don't know how many I have, but I'll keep it. Because yeah, I've switched have. characters, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So you can keep the ones from your, uh, your previous character. Um, we, yeah, it's fine. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, uh, let's see. How many did you have them recorded somewhere for your previous character? I, um, I, I haven't taken time to look. I've been slammed at work, and this is my okay. Take a breath from work stuff. So that All is right. me being bad and not diligent as a player. That's I apologize. Fine. Oh, no I'll worries. look it up. Uh, I know right. I've done the uh, think, journal a couple times, and I've won once or twice. Well, the winning the MVP just gives you uh, inspiration, not necessarily a story point. Uh, right now, the only way to get a story point is journal. I'm trying to figure out if I want to have other ways, but I felt like I was giving out too many for MVP and the um, quartermaster. Okay. So right now, it's just journal. Uh, MVP just gets you, uh, yeah, like I said, inspiration. It should be gotcha. between two and, two and three. We're only 17 sessions in. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only at one, but I've given it up. So, so Oswin, do you want to give us a recap of the events of last week? Anyways, the little beans fella decided to do something stupid in town last night. I re reconfigured my armor to be sneakier, but I think the tweak was. I needed to tweak it as it kept having my right knee cop lock, lock up and uh, pop and out and creating too much noise. Fortunately, uh, when we got close to uh, Bean's targeted spot, a guard caught me flat-footed. And uh, the good news is Juan was able to smooth talk us right out of, through my foul-up. Private Hook would have loved to learn this silver do tongue devil's feats. Anyways, uh... Beans did some of the graffiti, which, and we snuck back to camp well enough. In the morning, I reconfigured my armor for being a shock trooper again. Had enough time to build that little fascinating homo, homonoculus servant, which I can't pronounce. Oh, and uh, while I did that, Beans had a few of the miscreants go back to town, pick up some supplies. We also found out our group's little fairy, Dewdrop, spent the night licking windows of Blackwater Mansion. He's a loose little canyon in the head. He's like that one sailor that I can't remember his name. I think it was Abe. What a nutter. I forgot to mention that during her visit, Th Sithel said that she'd uh, send someone to join us. And uh, Gaith uh, arrived shortly after breakfast. And uh, we left And the guys when the guys got back from supplies. On the 5th of fall at 9 a.m., we noticed some smoke between where we were walking and the Iron Tide camp. Uh, just a little campfire, but it was smoking, but that made me start looking around. Just like you taught me, Sarge. And I spotted some humans charging us. Gave us a, 
When I gave some commands, nobody listened. There were a few fighters and one archer. While the soldiers were strong and solid as a team, that archer was the terror. We were sticking together somewhat, but Beans cast a spell and that archer just did the very thing Captain Rhea beat in our heads, shoot the casters. Once the archer did that, all sense of organization fell apart. Jimmy, that metal man, ran all the way over to the archer to engage him. That guy's fast. Unfortunately, one of the soldiers came up and flanked him. And while I was able to take one down, it surprised me how our enemies just could not hit Juan. Everyone, even after Juan pissed them off by making himself look like Blackwater, they still couldn't. Well, not until near the end, but I digress. I tried kiting my, uh, my servant around Beans, since he was the one most injured in our group. We went back and forth a bit, trading blows. The archer broke free of Jimmy. And when Jimmy went to follow, that soldier next to him got a lucky shot and took him down. This pissed Nick off. He cast a spell to get over Jimmy quickly. Uh, and he was able to give Jimmy some healing by slapping them. While that happened, I took another soldier down, ran to engage the one that Nick left free to chase down Beans. All this time, Dewdrop and Beans are shooting and scooting, trading shots with the archer. Dewdrop takes the bastard down. With the archer down, Jimmy knifing the soldier that was engaging me, taking him down. The last soldier decided to run, but Juan was able to put him to sleep. We were all, uh, we were all able to bend, bind the wounds of the injured, as well as tie the four remaining soldiers up. Only one regained consciousness while we were there, and they were kind enough to let us know that they were working on a contract to take us out. They also con uh, had a contract on Blackwater as well, hence getting pissed at Be uh, Juan. They were working for yet another organization called the Steel Shadow. And after some discussion, we gathered the captured soldiers, their reclaimed their camp goods, and took them back to our uh, camp. Stramick, the soldier whose mouth was running like a river, didn't believe that Dewdrop had an ogre. He nearly shit himself when he saw the ogre. Felt good to actually laugh again, even for a moment. Before we got uh, Shaith involved, Juan told us that he remembers seeing her working with the Steel Shadow a while back, and we could try to see her loyalties might be running when we do the interrogation. Meh. Didn't go far. She admitted that she uh, used to, but doesn't anymore, and these mooks were just hard muscle. Mr. Taki has offered to switch sides and come for work for us. Well, I've said this openly. This is a potential problem. A potential option, I'd rather be done with them for good. Anyways, I'm going to spend some time teaching this group to actually how to work as a team. Maybe they, that way we can take our don't, opponents down quicker. I think this is the best way I can honor you all. As the song goes, I remember the fallen, but do the fallen remember me? All right. Thank you for that recap. Uh, so it yep. is the 5th of fall at 11 a.m., uh, when this battle had ended, you had some prisoners I think you were going to take with you in your camp, right? We, were we did take them back. Yeah, yeah, we took uh, all four of them in our camp, but we were debating as to whether we wanted to just keep one and let three go, or um, let Nick have his way with the other three. It's, uh, it's a little suggestive there. Um... But, all right, so, uh, yeah, so what do you want to do? You still have another, about a day's journey to the Iron Tide base. Yeah. Uh, friends, what do you think? Uh, I'm partial to uh, trying to use some of these folks to gain contact with the Steel Shadow. No, no, we don't need them. That one guy, the archer, said something about it. That captain, when you pulled up, when Beans here pulled up that scroll. Ah, uh, Captain Groves? Yeah, he must be their contact in town. He did say that. Um, Wait, what? What, what? what do you all think? Captain who? Groves, the uh, town guard. Is he? It seemed like he was somewhat connected with the Steel Shadow or this group of uh, mercenaries. I I don't remember that at all. Oh, Grove is uh Grove has nothing to do with the Steel Shadow. 
did one of them sig like I don't know maybe you're remembering something wrong that's yeah I don't I don't remember that happening Cool. Then, uh, yeah, Grobe is just an like old, good. like, retired soldier. He, uh, he's not part of the Steel Shadow. It sounds like we should, uh, keep one, at least one of them around. I'd be fine sending the other three of uh, notes to, uh, that they could give to their contacts. I vote we either kill them or make them work for us. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, um, I worry Nate, that Nick, Oswin, what do you think? About I heard a couple different things. Which thing are we focusing on for this? Uh, it seems like we have do? the option to kill three of these guys or bring all four. Into oh, yeah, get rid of them all. Get rid of them all. Um, they're useless. Hmm. Lyra would so say, their liability. Know, they, they probably wouldn't have given us any such mercy if they had uh, defeated you all. Exactly. So this says, uh, we should not kill people. That is not our right. You're right. We How should do your ogre is, to yeah, kill yeah. people. How hungry is uh, your pet? That was just a threat. We shouldn't kill uh -huh. these people. We should let... If anything, we should promise them to not say anything and let them go. Well, I don't know if that's quite the correct option. You're okay with killing cows, but not humans? A cow is a source of food. And humans are not? Beans? Do you eat people? No, no, absolutely not. But I, I'm just wondering, they're, they fall in the same family. Um, they're both mammalias. I don't understand the difference. Is it two legs versus four legs? Because I eat chicken, too. How much <laughs> is Are it? You, you really trying to justify? Okay. I can't. <laughs> oh. How much? <laughs> Let me get that How much? It. How much? <laughs> how much for what? Uh, how much do they pass off to let them live? No, how much is it to hire you? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, so if What's you, your rate? If you ask the mercenaries... Uh, they sort of kind of look at each other and one of them would say, uh... Well, we could, uh, help guard your camp, I guess, if you want to bring us on as guards. He says, um... Yeah, it depends on what's involved. Are we going to be fighting with you, or are we just kind of watching over your people, or do you like what do you need us to do? Just to guard the camp. Uh, you kind of. We can have them find traps. <laughs> uh, so the four of them would be willing to come on. Actually, give me a persuasion check. Let me see. Although, from Am what I, I remember, I think they already offered to possibly join hey. you. They did, they did. Um, so I kind of want to add on to that and say, if we promise to let you live and we do not feed you to Gurglo, will you join us for a little bit of gold? Uh, and so, yeah. uh, alright, so uh, 18 Persuasion, 23. Uh, so the four of them kind of look at each other, one of them says, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can uh, watch your camp. Um, maybe like a standard silver piece a day uh, salary for now. And if you do your work well, we can ensure both your safety, not just from the the troll or the ogre, but also from any outside threats. And if you do your work well and become trusted compatriots, you know, we can make sure you are well encompassed. If there are extra duties that are required of you, we will also pay you for that duty as well. And I mean, it does beat the uh, other side of this equation, which is you lose your life. This is, uh, yeah, and uh, you've, uh, you've mentioned that. So I think uh, we almost don't have a choice. Yes. All right. So if you uh, if want, you, oh, go ahead. If you try and leave without permission, 
Right? I don't think they should be allowed to leave without permission for a, quite a while. That uh, seems fair to me. Uh, they have nowhere to go. And, uh... Yeah, we're, uh, I mean, I guess we could head back to Char, but yeah, no, we're, we're fine staying with you all for now. If uh, the choice is uh, being hired or being murdered, uh, I think we're, we're going to stick with being hired on. You guys seem uh, like you know what you're doing. Toad Leaf would say, This kind of seems like forced servitude. It doesn't seem very nice. Just for, just for temporary, right? We don't want them to go work for someone else, right? If they're just going to leave us and come back to kill us, you know? That's what I'm saying. Don't leave. That's all. That's all I'm well, saying. We gotta little sleep. See, if they could have killed us, they would have. Which means they, they are they yeah. not strong enough to kill us. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, right. well, they could. Uh, <laughs> let us hire hire these folks out. And, uh, we'll pay you one silver piece per day. Um, and, Protect uh, the camp. Protect the ogre. Yes. Yeah, and uh, hang out with us. Don't cause us trouble. We trust that you will not cause us trouble. Then. All right. So this then. was uh, yeah. this was Stramick and his people, I Correct. believe. Uh, so yes. I'll say, um, well, his people. Uh, so I'll say three of them will come on as guards, and Stramick will kind of come on as a specialist. I was the archer, because um, the other guys are just soldiers anyway. Because it looks like we already have Stramic on your uh, your specialist list. Uh, How so about we killed the archer? Did we, did we not kill the archer? Yeah, we definitely killed the archer. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh... Oops. All right. Well, then they're <laughs> just guards. Stramic's dead. Sweet. Later, Stramic. You called the one that um, Juan cast the sleep spell on is Stramic. So that's yeah. the reason why I said Stramic. Uh, I'll just oh. say he's dead. Okay. So these okay. these are like I nameless know. guards, so you can just add them to your guard guard list. Cool. I so. already did that and updated the pay. Alright, so uh Shock would whisper it's probably good we have more guards anyway. If that ogre decides to go feral, we can put him down before he may have just killed the whole camp. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen AC is pretty decent. Um so shall we uh move on? Do we want to take a rest? I think we short rest or we, I don't know. Yeah, we yeah. We definitely short. I rest. think we did. But oh, and a, on. and yeah. one gave us a tune to boost that rest. Yes, let's move on. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So we passed an hour for short rest. That's fine. I'm working on a new song. It's called Beans the Flesh Eater. Beans the Cannibal. Yep. <laughs> I'm a right. gnome. We have not come across a gnome. Humans are not gnomes. So <laughs> the group continues to travel. Uh, remind me who had survival training in this group? Baby. Oswin. I'm using that for my first attack roll. And what? Uh, Oswin, what was your wisdom modifier? My wisdom is a plus Ooh. one. Okay. Uh, so you can feed three people a day, uh, cause I think, yep. uh, we were saving on food a little bit. Uh, so one more day of travel would pass. Go ahead and pay your people and subtract food. And you, uh, think you are on the outskirts of the Iron Tide Base. Uh, in the distance, as you're coming through the plains over a large hill, you see some uh, large hilly areas as well as a small mountain range. Uh, and you would notice some towers as well as a bunch of uh, fires, like campfires, burning in the distance. I'll get you a map in one moment. Just give me a, give me a moment for that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as you approach, you, uh, are kind of, um, 
surprised by uh, how much activity you see in the valley below. Looks like there are quite a few iron tied. Uh, what do you want to do? I guess, guess just keep approaching, you know, kind of nonchalant. The grove sent us. I mean, we're here to talk, right? Act like we belong here. Keep walking, guys. Oh, yeah, we got that thing to show that we belong here, right? That piece of paper, that banner. Right? We have here, that right? three is? Yep. Um, I'm just going to start blasting. No. <laughs> well, it only works on people, so that's a moot point. All right, so up ahead, uh, you see the mountainous areas, uh, as well as a couple of towers. Uh, it does look like there are some groups moving around in the area up there, but you uh, are too far away to pinpoint where they are. Uh, so, walk to a tower and initiate conversation. Combat? Uh, conversation. I mean, you're pretty sure these guys are going to attack you on sight. What? Just uh, because uh, they don't know you're supposed to be here. So you have you uh, assume you'd have to be careful about how you approach them. Oh, okay. they're not Send they're not really expecting visitors. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, we have. And my... you guys are obviously uh, uh, like not part of their uh, their war band. We have my hawking to carry a note and drop it off. Yep. Or yep. You could I fly? Could I fly up there to the tower and be like, "Hello, my name is Toadleaf." I think uh, you should. All of us are carrying notes from Trapping Road. I think we should send Toad Leaf 100%. Yeah, so I can fall 60 foot and die. <laughs> uh, so I heard a couple of things. Uh, what are you thinking you want to do? So each of these squares is about a thousand feet, just FYI. It's a pretty oh, big area. Uh, you're could... in the middle of the plains. The dotted line is kind of like... Um, area that's cleared away because troops have been walking over it so the grass is kind of flattened <laughs> out um possibly patrol routes but it's hard to say all right so in character i say you know i could probably fly up there and say hello i don't know beans uh or i don't know toad leaf it'd be an easy target if they decide to attack Hesitant to uh, put the party. Um, yep. If we, I uh, how to best approach this, but if we approach it calmly, what are you saying, Sean? He says, "Well, um, uh, does anyone have knowledge military?" Before I just have shock answer all the questions here, like a um, background in military. Would my for the yeah, my character uh, Osmond is marine. Uh, so I guess, uh, give me an intelligence check with, uh, proficiency. See what you remember about this okay. sort of situation. Would Crimson Blade count, Lou? Uh, they're not really military. They're more like, uh, it's like as a vampire hunter, part of the military. It's kind of like its own organization. Nice. So, so it's either a 10, 10 or a 26, your choice. Uh, I'll say it's a 10. This isn't hard anyway. So you're, uh, I mean, you're pretty sure that, um, even though this is a war band, uh, most, most groups will respect a white flag, uh, if you, uh, present yourself as, like, as you don't want to fight them. Um, it's hard to know yeah, for that's sure. Why I was sorry, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's hard to know for sure that, that they won't attack you, but uh, yeah, if you have like kind of like a white flag and approach cautiously or cautiously, then you should be okay. Hmm. That's a we can do parlay. You want to send me up alone with the flag? Uh, I think all oh. of us should stay together. But if you uh, say your white flag might help. All right. I mean, that depends. Are you good at walking your way out of things? And how, what are we going to say to them? Did we establish what 
discussions. Or how about this? I'll be Juan's flag bearer. We talk to him about uh, having a meetup. Yeah, uh, the, the, we were sent by Captain uh, Grove. Graves. To meet with Graves. If, uh, give, Captain Graves. Give Juan all the paperwork. He can do all the talking. No. And Juan, if they shoot, you duck behind me. Everybody else should stay back just in case. I can protect one of you a lot easier than all of you. The uh, goal of this is to uh, try to find peace between the Iron Tide and the Tom and Char. Sounds all good. Might it not be attainable. Or, you know, the first step is uh, forming a solid line of communication. Do it. Okay, I, I can do that. Let's do it. Maybe you could disguise yourself as uh, Lord Blackwater again, and then that go up. Is an awful <laughs> idea. God, disguise yourself as Captain Graves. Uh, I don't know if Graves it. might be a better disguise for sure. Yeah, why but don't you be Graves? Figure out that uh, you're not Graves. They won't figure it out. Listen, Juan is very, very good right, at pretending. This is a terrible idea. Let's just go. We have the paper, right? Uh, I'm as go you are talking, oh. uh, in the distance, you see oh, a patrol appear. Uh, give me the flag. Uh, give me the, yeah, the, the flag. flag right now. You don't know the if one. they've yeah, seen you yet, but they're kind of moving through the area up there. What do you want to do? I go ahead. Still. Everybody else no. hide. I go yeah. ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hide, and yeah, and then one and Oswin can go ahead and do their thing. All right, so some of you are stealthing well, up while the others are kind of in view. Wait, hold up. So it sounds no, like I'm gonna stay Nate back a little. Going ahead without consent of the rest of the party. So I, I Nate, cast mage let armor. Nate, let Nate go ahead and let him wait, do his thing. No, I just said I cast mage armor. That's all. No, you said you go ahead. What? Didn't you just say that? I think maybe he said, I'm going to go ahead and cast Mage Armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I didn't hear him cool. say he was going up ahead. But Okay. So the group is moving. Uh, you said you're staying behind, uh, Nick, right? Whatever helps me with stealth, I guess. I, I don't I know. Like, if I can stay I farther back. Forward. Yeah. Uh, Beans is going to go with you, too. Oh, okay. Uh, um,. Both of you will need to figure out how to hide behind me if it goes down. That's okay. Toadleaf, are you coming with us? I'm sticking with the party. All right, so I guess I'm we'll coming with. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm coming. So everyone is moving forward then. Uh, as you are approaching, uh, the group of orcs definitely uh, looks a little bit different from... Kind of like the normal orcs you've uh, seen in the area. Uh, they have some strange markings on them. Is it a white hand? I speak orcish. Give me a moment. Uh, they would see you and immediately... Because, uh, uh, yeah, like you said, you weren't stealthing or anything. Uh, so several of them will draw weapons. Uh and uh looks like they're preparing to fire but um one of them holds up his hand noticing your white flag now and uh he will say in orcish does anyone speak orcish yes i just pinned it yeah all right so he says uh you outsiders you dare approach the war camp of the iron tide state your business or be riddled with arrows. We... Can I just relay this to the team? Then I guess... We're... I don't know if anyone else can hear that. Uh, you could say we you uh, translated. That's fine. All right, I'll translate, but then I'll just be like, hey, we uh, are here uh, sent by Captain Graves to speak with... Sorry, I forgot the commander's Four name. <laughs> yes. That's that. Uh, give me persuasion. Uh, one person can help him at disadvantage if you don't speak Orcish. Come on. And then I okay. maybe also I'll can I ask them if they speak common at all? 
while I while I throw that in there. Uh, let's see. So eighteen. Uh, he'll say, uh, "Yes, I do speak common." He says, "Grave sent you." Now he's kind of switched over to common, uh, okay. realizing you might be allies. Uh, what? Uh, go ahead. I go. Oh, hello, Iron Tide. We have heard much about you, and we come to you as a peace accord. We are emissaries from the human settlements that have been attacking, and uh, we are quite good fighters ourselves. We're hoping to possibly ally ourselves with you or come to an accord that both sides may benefit from. There may not be need for all this blood slaughter. And uh, we already spoke with Captain Graves about this, and he agreed it was a good idea and uh, gave us the location of where to head. But we pr did not want to attack you or surprise you um, as we are coming here on peaceful terms. Yeah, he gave us this paper to show that we are we're sent here by him. I guess we'll just show that. I forgot what the... All right, so you present... Was. Yeah, you present the paper. Uh, one of the other ones in the group uh, will say in Orcish who is Graves to say who our allies should be. Such decisions should be made by the War Master. Um, I'll show you this guy. Uh, the other guy says back, uh, well, we should respect the... Uh, we should respect the opinion of Graves for now. I mean, at least give them... And this is all in Orcish. He's, like, talking back to his buddy in Orcish. He says, at least if they come under a white flag, we can give them an audience with Orcard. If they prove to be unworthy, they'll quickly Orcard. die. So he looks to you again and says in common, uh, let me see the paper as he walks towards you. And keep your weapons away. So are you going to show it to him? All right, so he walks up, yeah. takes it, he's looking at it. He says, um, all right, uh, we shall take you to Orcard, and he will decide your fate. Though to enter our, uh, to enter our lair, uh, you will be disarmed. He says, I'm just warning you. Okay. Uh, and then uh, he kind of motions for the group to follow. Which I assume you follow. Yeah. All right. So let me know if you're do anything, doing anything during the travel. But as you come up this way, you notice a few. And I'm, I, uh, not, I'm not going to put them on the board, but you do see some more patrols who would kind of notice you moving with these guys. Can you what? Can I start playing some songs um, that I think that the orcs would enjoy listening to on our walks? Yes. Uh, what kind of song? Like, what's the uh, uh, what's the feeling you're trying to evoke? It's gonna be like uh, being champions in battle, and you know, like a hero is fighting for, you know, like revenge for a lost loved one um, against an entire army, and is overcoming, you know, fight after fight with just pure strength. Uh, sure. Give me a performance check. Nice. Toad Leaf wants to help, although he nice. completely messes up the lyrics. <laughs> uh, if Your you mother help, was you, a, can, a, you can roll as well if you want to help him. If you like start singing along with his. Uh... Nice. All right, so yeah, you guys are doing like a little war chant as you're walking, and the orcs are kind of nodding along. Um, as you get a little closer to the tower, you would see. Uh, there's three guys up there armed with longbows. Uh, the orc motions up and then yells uh, something in Hobgoblin, actually. Do any of you speak Hobgoblin? My character should. Oh, he I speaks do Goblin. Speak goblin. Or, sorry, Goblin. Uh, so yes. he would yell, um, we have uh, possible, we have uh, possible allies, possible prisoners going to speak with Orcard. And the hobgoblin just waves him past. So Ooh, they keep possible going. Possible prisoners. I it's, laugh at that. I go, hey, we're possible prisoners. <laughs> uh, how loud do you say that? Quietly with the group. 
Oh, guys, you kind of whisper it. All right, so he basically brings you kind of up and over this way. Uh, from this point, you would notice smoke coming from over here. Uh, it looks like there might be some kind of uh, encampment. You'd also notice smoke coming from the north. Uh, again, possibly some kind of uh, encampment. But uh, he leads you to what looks like a mine. Or an old mine. Uh, maybe at this point they're using it as their uh, impromptu base. And he, uh, There's a couple of hobgoblin guards there. And he says, alright, give up your weaponry. You'll get it back upon leaving, assuming you're not taken prisoner. I mean, uh, to be fair, you all have us surrounded. I don't think we've put up much of a threat to you, you great fighters. While he's saying that, Oswin's handing over his shit. Uh, give me a persuasion at disadvantage. <clears throat> All right. 18. <laughs> Or wait, was Juan or Juan's assisting in that? Yeah. Oh yeah, so. Juan's like Juan's like, yeah, we're just some feeble adventurers. Like <laughs> we're clearly surrounded. You surely, like a couple weapons aren't going to make the difference. Yeah, this little pokey stick ain't going to do nothing. So the orc would say uh, uh, he does have a point, and the guard would say uh, he could have assassins in their ranks. He says no weapons. <laughs> That's the deal. Uh, it'll save you time from having to worry about giving it back to us later. Yeah. You know, and I can guarantee true. you, I can guarantee you, it's, we're going to agree on some things here. Give me we an, also hate Black Lock. Give me another persuasion attempt at disadvantage. Dudleaf would try uh, to yeah. help with that and say, but don't I look so cute? Oh, I, hit, I rolled the nat 20 and we're good. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, nat 20 <laughs> is an auto <laughs> success. <laughs> but yeah. Nat 20. Uh, well, he, uh, he would say, uh, look to the, uh, kind of half-orc and, or sorry, look to the, uh, hobgoblin and say, uh, they do have a letter from Captain Graves. Uh, cat, uh, the hobgoblin looks kind of annoyed. He says, uh, uh fine, but keep your weapons away. Uh, any, any hint Thank of you. a betrayal and you will be riddled with arrows. This is your Thank only you. warning. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. I hey, don't I doubt it. Back. All right, so they lead you inside. Uh, I'm not gonna. Well, yeah, I guess I'll do a quick map of the cave in case things go south, so you know what it looks like in here. Uh, so three seconds to memorize. Go. Uh, well, I'll show you the path he leads you. Memorized. I got this black screen memorized so quick, guys. Well done. <laughs> Uh, Bravo Zulu. All right, so let's see. Uh, it seems like it's mostly dark in here, uh, though some of the hobgoblins do have light sources. Uh, and we'll say you're not playing the war music anymore. Uh, so. I switch over to uh, it's Captain Neil to... now, isn't it? Yeah, I switch over to cave exploring music about finding new adventures. All right, so I'm not going to bother putting down all the tokens because they're going to be moving around anyway, but there are a good amount of soldiers in here kind of eyeing you as you go through. Uh, you see hobgoblins, orcs, um, a couple of... Uh, well, actually, those are probably the biggest two. There's different uh, hobgoblin and orcish soldiers. Uh, so he's leading you through the cave. Uh, what is, let's see, uh, Oswin, you might yep. know something, your passive of 18. Uh, so as you get to this point, uh, it looks like there is a sign, uh, kind of written on a piece of wood. Uh, it's kind of off to the side. Um, what languages do you speak again? Uh, gobl goblin in common. Um, so it is uh, written in Goblin, and it says uh, "danger, keep out." You just kind of. And it's talking about that whole 
pool area over there? Yeah, it seems like that uh, that cave. And you would notice it doesn't seem like anyone's in that area. So you wonder what that's all about. Uh, but he'll continue leading you down the hall here. I ask one of the orcs, I say, Do you mind if I cast a little bit of light? It's a little dark. I can't see well. No casting, he yells oh. angrily. Oh, jeez. No magic. I do not know what a light spell looks like. How do I know you're not charming me? Because I could just do that with my pretty smile. And then he smiles. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> I guess the orc gives you a half smile, but then keeps walking. While, but while they say that, can I say the only charming ones here are you guys? And then I give him the double finger guns and I go pew pew. Now you're hitting on him. Now it's getting <laughs> weird. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, yes. So as you're doing that, uh, you would see some orcs coming down the hallway from in front of you with what looks like a bunch of humans in chains uh, leading them past you kind of up this way. Uh, is anyone from Char originally? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you're you're not sure who these humans are, uh, but uh, yeah, they're led past you kind of up and around the corner up here, out of sight, unless anyone's saying or doing anything. I just start nope. trying to crack a few jokes that I think they would like. Uh, and I would say, "What do you tell? What do you tell a a dumb human with two black eyes?" I said, "Nothing. You already told him twice." I like that one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, they just uh, kind of look at you weird. You uh, you talk a lot, don't you? Ah, we each have our strengths, good friends. Yours are brutality and fighting. Mine is the tongue. <laughs> the ladies like it at least. Uh, the orc says, I don't get it. And the hobgoblin says, it's sexual joke. The orc says, oh. He winks at you. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. I wink back. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, so, in any case, uh, they, they're keeping things pretty serious. Uh, they seem like they're not sure they can trust you. So there's not much of a too much of a reaction what? to the jokes. Uh, I but, just try being like we're best friends, kind of like, you know, like without, you know, trying to build up a little bit of camaraderie, chivalry with, you know, even though they're having these feelings. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. Bet you it's an 18. Bet you need a roll. Wow. Hey, look at that. Uh, so... They, uh, I mean, they, they don't seem as gruff as they were before as you talk to them. Um, but you don't know if they're, uh, what, what do you call it? Like, if they're becoming friendly or anything that much, uh, or that, that, uh, yeah. This is not working. Oh, there it goes. Uh, so. One of them says, uh, hmm. You know Captain Graves. How? Uh, I look over and I say, uh, we actually ran across a, a small band of orcs earlier and actually spoke with them to try to establish peace. Um, and then they actually introduced us to Graves and Graves said it would be a good idea to meet orc hearts since we have a common enemy. I sort of look at each other, and one of them says, uh, or the, uh, the hobgoblin, who seems to know a little bit more about what's going on, would say, uh, they are enemies with Blackwater, or at least they claim to be. The hobgoblin, or the orcs just sort of nod, say, he is the one that betrayed us, yes, and the guy nods back. Alright, so I'm gonna bring you into this area as your tokens. 
uh, just because it uh, might be relevant. Uh -oh. Dun dun dun. Roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nope, so no initiative, there. just not yet. Uh, just get one. This area is lit up. So let me add some light. I'll, I'll just say there's a bunch of torches around. Uh, but yeah, it looks like um, as you are kind of moving uh, through the area, you would see some hobgoblins up ahead. Uh, it looks like a small unit of... Uh, well, it looks like there's... Uh, you probably recognize the markings. It looks like another captain like Graves is up there with two of his people. Uh, and with them are two uh, very unique looking hobgoblins. Which I will give you pictures for. Uh, where is it? Okay, so one of them um, is heavily armored in plate mail. Uh, you see a shield strap to his back, and on his waist is a uh, kind of exotic-looking sword. Um, it looks kind of like a katana blade, basically, but you wouldn't know what a katana blade is. And uh, there are little crackles of lightning coming from it. Uh, the other guy... That's a cool cat. Uh, the other guy is... Uh, looks like more wizard-like. Uh, he is wearing kind of light armor, like um, some uh, leather with some robes over it. Uh, he does have martial weapons on him, but you would see a couple of scrolls draped over his belt, like almost like he's ready to pull them out and cast them. Uh, and uh, both of them sort of look up as you enter the area. Uh, the uh, guy who's basically leading you in here, the orc, would say uh, possible contacts from Captain Graves. Uh, supposedly these uh, these humans uh, wish to work with us. Or at least so they say. Or card would say yeah. approach. Humans? We are or not all humans these, quite uh, at all. These Teruvians, he would say. These empirelings. Uh, but yeah, so I assume you're all moving up. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so go ahead and move yourselves to where you'd want to be. Nick is like going off in the grass over there. Oh, where's the uh, best, best place to stand and talk with you? So you would see uh, as you, as you kind of come up, the hobgoblins sort of like move aside. Yeah, they're up here. Um, if you didn't see them. Sorry. Uh, Juan, are you coming? I'm trying. The fuck you doing back there? You yeah. need some help? Juan the Mon. <laughs> Holy shit. I was zooming. How did you move that <laughs> fast? <laughs> just flashed across the screen. Uh, so, Orcard would say uh, Graves. So you're from uh, the units that we left near Char. He says, you seem like specialists. You certainly aren't armed like normal soldiers. Um, and the uh, orc would say, they also had this letter. And he hands it to Orcard, who starts to read it. <clears throat> he kind of puts it away and would look to you and say, um, so were you in Char when the attacks happened? How do you even know of all of this? We uh, were in Char, but we all were there for different reasons. Um, but long story short is we are trying to reestablish some peace in Char, not just due to your attacks, but some other things as well. And while we were finding things out, while we all you know, were in the city, we realized that uh, Blackwater is perhaps not the best influence for the town. And then as we further discussed things, we found out that it was Blackwater that is causing this whole mess for the city to begin with. Um, it was his betrayal that has caused the attacks from the Iron Tide, and it was his betrayal that has also made enemies from the Blood Hand that are now seeking to attack the city as well. 
Um, so he has put all of the citizens in danger and has made an enemy from everyone he seems to come across. Give me a persuasion. All right. Uh, so, uh, or dual, or the uh, the magic user one will say, uh, we can't really verify their story yet, uh, War Master. Um, again, in Goblin, uh, Orcard will kind of listen, but not like acknowledge him and say, "So you uh, are enemies of Blackwater, then?" From what I'm hearing, that, sure, that he seems to be up to no good. Yeah. I want to take him down, and we're we're here for evidence because we've yeah we want to turn we essentially want to turn the town against him with whatever evidence we can provide. Toadleaf would say, um, "Blackwater is not very nice. I went to lick his windows, and his people shot at me." Uh. So, noticing you now, Erdul says, uh, they have a fairy with them. Phase. Phase. You should be careful. They could be planning something. Even if it all, is stupid, it makes all, no sense. I'm always plotting. You speak fun. goblin? Oh, are you saying that? Oh, I thought you said yeah. that. <laughs> Erdul's speaking in, uh, completely in goblin right now. As, uh, oh. like, basically kind of as, uh, you were all talking, he's kind of saying like in a low lowered voice like some things in goblin okay. uh so or card will while he right after he says that um i i look at him and say that fairy has a uh, ogre in his command or card laughs he says ah so you speak our language then you a shouldn't bear that doesn't speak goblin he shrugs he says uh I don't know much of your uh, kind. I don't think I've uh, seen more than one or two of you throughout my life. Her you shouldn't. Cousins. He says you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't be. Uh, or what's it? You shouldn't um, underestimate them or duel just because they're Teruvians doesn't mean they can't speak that language after all. Or duel just kind of shrugged. And I also was responding so you knew so you didn't assume that i was eavesdropping being secretive about knowing languages this is fair enough but i'm not the talker here well says we certainly have a bone to pick with blackwater uh as for whether or not uh, we need your help with that I, I don't know if we do he says uh we have things pretty much under control at Char. I mean, the town is uh, at our at our mercy at the moment, and uh, we will soon have what he took from us uh, once uh, why, Char uh, is further weakened. Why punish the uh, innocent townspeople when Blackwater is the one that we 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 are targeting? Is uh, simply use the town as a pawn. Give me persuasion at disadvantage. Please no. I allowed to join that. Uh, what are you going to say to a system? Uh, I <laughs> Matt, what did you just say? Uh, said, uh, why target the people of Char? They're innocent, basically. Oh, yeah. Blackwater. Uh, you target Blackwater. I jump in and I say, uh, I know that, you know, it is common war tactics to, you know, attack the food first, but... These are, you know, people that are innocent in this bloodshed and are the, you know, for, are caused from the actions of one man. And perhaps we should just take the head out. Oh, uh, yeah. Give me a persuasion at disadvantage. Also, someone's echoing me. So he'll we, say uh, um, ignorance is no excuse. A population supports a, uh, a bastard. They are just as guilty as he is. Such is the way of war. He says, Char should have known better than to have a thieving, lying prick be part of their community. Yes, which is another reason we came. I've heard that you dealt directly with Blackwater, and I want, we wanted to br bring back some proof so that the town could also turn against him. Um, just to clarify the way that that culture works. We wish works. to reveal these, you know, the actions of this 
you know, whatever words you have used to or describe the city. Is, people. You know, um, uh, the people of the people of Black, uh, the people of Shard didn't have a voice when Blackwater was shuffled off onto them from the big cities and the Empire. So uh, they're not supporting him; they're stuck with him. Uh, the two of you, uh, or what were you saying, um, uh, Juan? Uh, I was saying um, basically kind of like the same things that they're saying, but the fact that we are just trying to, you know, they didn't willingly know about Blackwater's actions and that we are trying to cause that now to to show them the truth and reveal his treachery. So he would say, uh, again, ignorance is not an excuse. Uh, but he would look to Nick, because he kind of liked your argument a little bit better. He says, uh, these people, you uh, you think that showing them evidence would cause them to turn against Blackwater, even though he is a wealthy patron in their community. He says, corruption uh, is not often cared much about by the government if it is in their benefit, at least in my experience. No, I believe it, it will. We have provided much for the town and I think if we can provide proof that he is up to no good I think it would uh, help us all in the long run maybe even turn us all onto the same side to get back what was taken from you faster uh, give me a persuasion at advantage her duel would say we should also be careful, Orcard. He's in common now. He says, uh, we don't know if they're just trying to get the evidence away from us. Orcard says, well, the evidence does us a little good. At this point, we cannot approach the town and show it to them, obviously, uh, as they would see us as enemies. Well, perhaps uh, 17. So he, uh, give me a sec to respond to that. Um, he says, perhaps this could be a tool to use against Blackwater. He says, uh, the evidence is uh, not damning by any means. There's some missives between myself and uh, and Blackwater's associates. Um, anyone could have forged signatures or forged documents, though, which is likely what your town will uh, accuse, uh, accuse me of if I do send this with you. Go ahead, Juan. Well, what are you saying? Or card. There's a few things. Uh, the first was, we do have, I believe, magics to determine whether or not something is a forgery. Um, this may be able to, if we bring it to the proper people, this may be able to thwart Blackwater stories and actually verify our own. But the second is, we are looking to foster good relations with you. Perhaps, you know, to earn some trust. Perhaps there are some things that you need help with around here that we may be able to assist with. Says, are you? Oh God! They said, "Yeah, just to bolster our good relations." Says, are you? Sorry, God. I'll let you go first. Yeah, I was just, yeah, yeah, just backing up what he said. Yeah, I want. We're eager to help, and to prove in any way we can that we are on your side. Our duel would uh, say. Oh, no, my lord, they are Terubians. The Blackwaters hold the second seat of their council, one of the highest seats in the land. I don't think they would be trustworthy. Um, and Orkard uh, says, uh, are you Teruvian, or are you, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, da, da, da. what's his land called? I should know this by heart. Uh, Nazik, yeah, he says, are you Teruvians? They seem more like Nazik mercenaries to me, more cutthroat. The, uh, Teruvian Empire has wronged each of us, and you can see that in the scars that we bear. Maybe besides Toby, I don't know where that motherfucker comes from. I'm not <laughs> from here. I, I don't uh, know where the hell I'm at. Give me a persuasion but, uh, check. We are, uh, simply normal people. Uh, you want persuasion? Uh, I guess uh, that was what Bean said that. Um, I'll give you yeah. advantage on that roll, and uh, if someone wants to back him up, I'll give uh, someone else a roll, too. Yeah, no, I, I just say, I'm not from here. I don't know where the heck I'm at. It says, uh, well, but again, are you uh, citizens of Nazik or Teruvia? Where are you from, exactly? Are you I just wanderers? Really yes. 
I say, well, well I, we all come from different locations and have different reasons, you know, for being here. Some Cheruvian, some not. I myself am Cheruvian, and I wish for the better of all peoples, um, not just Cheruvia. I believe that, you know, hopefully if things all go well, we can drink and be merry and enjoy good song and people of all races and nations. Um, I have no alliance towards one nation over the other. That is just simply a title. Does not entail the person. Gypsies, then. Nomads, uh, the caster says. says they're like the, uh, the dragonborn uh, families that wander the land. I still don't think it's worth trusting them. There's no gain in uh, let it. Us, let us uh, gain your trust. Oh. How, how, how do we gain your trust? Um... Uh, As my friend Juan before has said, we are uh, willing to do tasks for you in order to gain our gain your trust. Or card looks to Erdul. He says, we do have those uh, ruined areas where people went missing. And Erdul would it. scratch his chin a little. Uh, and of course, chin. there is the, uh, the wyvern problem. Urtul, what what sort of magic do you do you fling? You seem like a spellcaster yourself. Um, might be quite simple compared to what I've seen. So Urtul will uh, smile at you, and Orcard will kind of roll his eyes as he starts to chant. <laughs> uh, a fireball goes off in the middle of the group. Oh. Uh, but the flames seem to bend around several of you, uh, and no one is actually hurt by it. Uh, his uh, hand continues to flame after the spell, and he says, I am an evoker. I specialize in destructive magic on the battlefield. Orkhart says, you really shouldn't do that. You just let them know uh, what your powers were, and we don't know if they're allies yet. Uh, uh, it is, go. Uh, go ahead, tell oh. me. I was just going to say, Toad Leaf goes, wow, that is really cool. Look what I can do. And he picks up like a seed he has. And he makes it sprout into a flower with druid crap. Uh, a, a fireball is uh, considered high level magic. That, that seems rather simple. That's something they teach in the first year of, uh, of uh, undergrad. Says, oh, really? Can you produce a fireball, little gnome? Uh, I don't waste my time on such simple magic. Hmm. I used one. Oh, little. <laughs> I, I look over and I say, I apologize for <laughs> He's, uh, any boy, slice yes. that may have come, but we each have different experiences and different things we wish to focus on as we are all different specialists in our craft. I the, feel uh, one. Or card, you know, like, card like, uh, kind of lets out a sigh. He's like, do we really have to have a... Uh, Magic dick measuring contest uh, right now. I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm no. I'm trying to uh, forge a relationship. He says, uh, uh dual. Part of, Go yeah. ahead. Uh, part of that is uh, making sure that you all understand the power that our group possesses and the valuable tools that we can be. We've come to you trying to uh, solve this Blackwater problem. We understand that the Blackwater problem is what's caused the siege on, uh, on, the, on the town of Char. We do not wish to see any more farmers or families or children killed. Uh, give me another persuasion check, Beans, and someone can back him up if they want to say something. <laughs> uh, I look over and I say, yes, the little one is obviously right. You know, he has much wisdom through his years at school. All right, Ooh, 23. All right, so you've gotten two successes. Uh, so Orkard considers uh, it for a moment, or Duel says uh, they could make valuable slaves or hostages, almost like not caring that you heard that. Uh, Orkard will look over to him and say, uh, perhaps, oh, but they, uh, we do have these problems, and a solution just showed up, or a possible solution just showed up on our doorstep. He says, if they can take care of these things, then they're obviously more than just uh, novice uh, warriors. And if they can't, well, then we'll solve uh, at least one of the problems. And then he'll I can do what? 
I can do a little detail. And then he he does uh, Toad Leaf does a little dance showing he can can do one. So <laughs> Oswind is rolling his eyes at that. Oh, so what are that. the details of each of these situations so we could find out which one's the best for within our parameters and skills? It's my lord, I still think Erdul, you heard me. Tell them about the problems and put them to work. If they prove uh, skilled, bring them back to me and we'll talk more. He says, of course, my lord. And he kind of bows and shuts up. And he says, uh, you all, follow me. We'll talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we don't have to have the tokens follow. You can just delete them. Uh, but he's basically leading you out of this area and back into the cave. Uh, while we're traveling, I say, might there be an area for us to rest in while we deal with these issues as well? Uh, he stops. He says, huh. Yeah, I don't think resting in the lair would be a good idea. You have to explain to everyone that you're allies. Well, he says, I have three issues right now. Depending on which one you choose, we can figure out a rest area. Let me bring up the map one moment. Uh, he says, there are two sets of ruins in here. Uh, one to the, let's see, to the east the easternmost part of the cave uh, over here. He's kind of showing you a map, and he says another excavated area to the south, uh, both of which we've lost people in. Uh, so those need to be checked out to see if our people are okay. And uh, as Orcard mentioned, a wyvern is currently harrying our forces within the mountains. Uh, we need you to hunt it down and slay it as we have lost too many troops to it already. It seems to mostly hunt in the evening. Um, what kind of troops do you, you that went down there? What, what mix of magic and, and might? He says, we only sent scouts so far, so not very skilled troops. We haven't risked mercenaries. It's been uh, mostly soldiers, not specialists. Uh, we weren't going to uh, send anyone else till we knew more about what had happened. This is where you would come in. Which is the greatest, uh, which needs to be done the quickest for your organization. He says the wyvern's probably the most dangerous. Um, both of the ruined areas are blocked off, and I don't think we have to worry about uh, anything coming through. At least I hope we don't. Um, but uh, the wyvern continues to attack us, so that's probably the most pressing. Still, uh, if you think the ruins would be better for your skills to tackle first, I'll leave that up to you. But these are the three things that I currently need solved. Being well, I towards the wyvern. <laughs> I could kill a wyvern in my sleep. But we're already here. We could go look at the ruins. What if we tackle more than one of these tasks? He says, well, you can do as many as you wish, but uh, I think um, for now you should probably choose one and then we can figure out where you'll be camping and who you'll be reporting to. He says the wyvern is outside, obviously, so that's probably going to be the more difficult to uh, track down its nest and take care of it. But uh, the ruins, I can just bring you over there and you would enter and see what you find. Hopefully our, our people still alive. Uh, there's no way right here. Uh, Might as well. People are still alive. Is there a way yeah. to pause the attack char while we're doing this? He says, uh, absolutely not. The attacks on char will continue until uh, Lord Orcard think there's, thinks there's a good reason to pause them. And we're not friends yet. You've just offered us something. Right now we're figuring out whether or not you're worth, uh, you're worth uh, working with. But perhaps, if uh, we can, uh, if we uh, think that you are uh, possible, or if we think that you're friends, we can maybe uh, discuss it. All right, let's go rescue some people. All right, so which uh, thing do you want to do? Or do you want to argue to uh, stop the attacks on charge? I mean, doesn't it seem more prudent to try to save... It's, apparently they lost some people in a in one of the ruins nearby, right? Uh, two of the it's ruins. It's oh, okay. It's yeah, let's do it. So. Yeah. 
Uh, why don't you show us these uh, ruins? Uh, you sent people in. So uh, I have to be honest with you. Uh, we had uh, come across uh, some uh, a crypt, a cursed crypt that your soldiers had uh, broken seals on before and found uh, their emblems and returned them to Groves, and that's what gained his confidence in us. Graves. Uh, did Graves, your... yeah. Yeah, Graves, sorry. Says, well, uh, Graves, uh, it seems like a similar situation where, where, uh, uh some of your blood hand soldiers had, might have overstepped their bounds and not understood. It says, perhaps this, this has the added complication of being right next to our lair. So, if there is a danger that could pour out into this place and kill our soldiers, uh, we definitely want it to be addressed. I'm not sure what Graves had you doing, but Graves is also much more trusting than a lot of the other members of the Tide. He says, I've dealt with you Taruvians before. I know that you're untrustworthy. As we've mentioned well, that's before, a little judgmental. Yeah, listen, I'm no noble. The uh, Taruvian Empire has wronged many of us. Uh, what brought you to this, this location, of all locations? I understand the, the, the strategy in, uh, in the cave, but uh, of all the caves and all the areas around here, why, why, why this location? Uh, give me a persuasion. Someone can back him up. Uh, DC is 15 on this. Oh, it's going to succeed. <laughs> what are you saying? I say something. I just uh, said, uh, well, yeah, you can 20, also 20. say something that would never succeed. Uh, oh, so yeah. what are you saying? Uh, I just say, listen to the little one. He really does know what he's talking about. He's like, I followed his advice before, and I've never been led astray. He says, well, if you must know, this is the place where uh, Blackwater had us digging. This is where we found several of his relics, as well as some old dwarven... Uh, uh, Tharian relics. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do that one. Let's do um, that one. That's why we're here, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. once again, uh, as you're kind of going past this area here, uh, Oswin, you think you hear some voices, like, sounds like maybe human, or maybe, uh, yeah, like, some kind of humanoid voices coming from the north... Uh, around the turn there. Do you care, or are you just going to keep following him? Uh, I'm going to keep following, but I'm going to pay attention as much as possible, because I want them to keep thinking we're on the good side. Yeah, it yeah, kind of uh, it kind of catches your, um, your uh, attention, because you think they're speaking common, and it sounds like they might be humans. But you did see well, some prisoners get let up there earlier, so that might be where that's they're what keeping I was their prisoners. <laughs> All right, so he brings you over into the Forbidden Hallway. Uh, kind of down and around this way. And up into the cave here. Uh, inside the cave, there are a couple of Hobgoblin soldiers kind of sitting there. Uh, he says, uh, troops... These mercenaries uh, are specialists, and they're here to look into the problem. Uh, you will move the boulder aside for them when they wish to enter and leave. And they uh, just kind of nod and says, of course, uh, or, or of course, uh, Erdul. And uh, with that, Erdul would say, you can rest in this area. I'll come back later to check on your progress. He says, don't, uh, don't try to leave this area without talking to me. And with that, he's just going to leave unless anyone says anything. No, I'm gonna. In you don't want to help us. He says, "No, this is. Uh, you said you wanted to help us. You're doing this to prove yourself. Plus, I'm not putting myself at risk. I have other you things I any, need to work on." You got any potions you can give me? Uh, sorry, did you say something, Oswin, as well? Uh, when he leaves, I'm gonna ask the goblins for what details they can give me. Oh, okay. I know it's uh, probably not going to be much, but... So, uh, Nick, he says, uh, 
I think we might we might have some extra healing potions uh, in our in our uh, inventory. I guess I can have our quartermaster sell them to you if you think you need them. Well, we're all out of potions. What if we come across your people and they're near death? It would just be who of you. It would be great for us to be able to, you know, give them something quick so that they could get out and escape. Does do none of you know how to uh, heal or bandage? I've got duct tape. Does that count? Um, yes. All right, man. We yeah, we just you know we're gonna need some potions for, if you got people bandaging, down there. Bandaging doesn't get fallen comrades back on their feet to escape with us. Totally would just. Especially if there are multiple. And uh, beans would interrupt Toadly. Uh, oh. On the shut up. <laughs> there you go. You already knew. <laughs> Our duel says. Uh, uh, these soldiers don't get paid enough for me to be spending potions on them. If you want to buy some potions, I can have that happen. If not, well, use what you have. The the soldiers there kind of take offense from that, but they don't say anything. I say, oh, well, we will gladly buy a few potions to save your comrades then. He, what is measly coin against the, uh, the value of a life? It's all right. I'll have my quartermaster come speak to you. Um... If you want to wait a little bit, I'll tell them you're looking for I look potions. Over, I look over at the other guys and see what their reaction to when I say that. Yeah, I think we... How, how long are we talking here? Uh, he should probably be here in like 20 minutes. Okay. I'll go talk to him now. Uh, so, at this point, Erdul will leave. Uh, the Hobgoblin... How do the other orcs react when I say what's a little coin, like as compared to the life of some people? The hobgoblins. Yeah, because uh, he said they were about wasting coin for. Like, so emotions. they've been kind of quiet, but uh, what's your insight? Thirteen or no? Uh, Eleven. So they kind of, yeah, they, they might seem a little bit um, annoyed by that comment from Erdul, but they are definitely not letting him know that. Um, you would get the feeling that they're very intimidated by the war wizard. How do they feel when I tell them, like, when I was saying, like, yeah, we want to make sure we save their lives so we would gladly buy potions? Uh, they didn't say anything. Do you want to ask them? Yeah, I look over at them and I say, I just want to know like how they reacted, you know, seeing if they approved of that or not. Mostly, yeah, uh, like with like that or... within a within eleven, you're not sure. Again, they're not really. They're. It seems like they're afraid to react too much with the war wizard watching. Yeah, uh, and the war wizard left. Yeah, so as he left, I'll, I'm going to let Oswin jump in here because you were going to yeah. ask them something. Basically, uh, any details they can provide about uh, the path, the maps, or anything like that, and any details they had about the people that have gone before. This is, uh, uh, so he will say, well, I don't know much about the, the group that went down there to scout it, but uh, it seems like there's some kind of incline um, leading to like a, a dirt floor. Uh Oh, and I, uh, I think I, every now and then I hear like a weird chirping coming from down there. Also, chirping? like, yeah, Matt. Matt, you're not muted. Matt. Oh, sorry. Uh, there's a strange chirping noise coming from below as well as uh, like almost like the sound of rock being crunched by something. It's uh, not constant, but it's just something uh, that, yeah, we can hear past the boulder every now and then. Nothing's come up here yet, though. At least not as far as we can tell. He says uh, the uh, so yeah. So I jump in Thank as you. well, um, and I say yes. Like any details you may be able to draw for us would be able to assist us in getting your allies back as quickly and safely as possible. Um, I am curious though. Do uh, do is like soldiers' lives not valued here with the Iron Tide? Uh, I say it kind of. Low. Give me a persuasion check, DC 20. So they don't know you. Oh. 18. 
Can I help? What are you going to say? Say it's a shame that he didn't want to offer up a few measly potions for your friends. Alright, go ahead. You can give me a check as well. 16. So, he... One of them kind of looks like he's going to speak, and the other one says, uh, We know what we signed up for. A soldier's life is a dangerous one. I'm sure that Orcard and Erdul have our have our best in or uh, yeah our best uh, what's it called uh, interests yeah have our best interests at heart but the greater good is what's needed and uh, you know if we run out of resources trying to heal every down soldier then everyone loses the other guy True just says, the other guy says I don't know I think it just spared a healing potion he's like quiet. The other one just kind of quiets up. <laughs> I look over at him and I say, well, we will do everything we can to make sure we bring your allies back to you. It's always a shame. Life is sacred no matter who it belongs to. They both kind of laugh. He says, you're definitely from the Terubian Empire. Ah, uh, were you saying something, Nick? No. All right. All right. He says, uh, life uh, certainly is not sacred. People die every day in war. A soldier's life is uh, meant for the greater good. Yes, but shall you not save those that are within your reach to save? He says, friends and family, perhaps. But why would I care about others outside my clan? This is perhaps a bit of a selfish reason, but bolstering good relations with all, you know, Profits not only the coin purse for putting on shows, but also gives you more friends to drink with. Or are they not friends and family of others? He says, uh, uh perhaps. Uh, do you want us to move the boulder, or are you waiting for the quartermaster? I wouldn't mind to wait for the quartermaster to see what he's got. 20 minutes. Yeah. Alright. So, so time is passing... Uh, we'll say he gets there at about 10.30 in the morning, so about half an hour later. Uh, it's a orc with uh, a potion, or a bag of uh, what you assume is potions, because it's like clinking as he walks. He says, uh, I do have a few potions to trade mercenaries. Um, I heard you are looking for healing. What else do you have? Oh, I thought you were bringing weapons. He looks strange. He strange his weapons. Um, I thought I was just told by Erdul that you were looking for potions. Where did weapons come from, Nick? What do oh. you got? He looks confused <laughs> for a second and says, uh, oh, well, um, he says, we have, uh, if you're just looking for, someone said something about non-healing, um, we do have a Potion of Necrotic Resistance. Um, but that one's going to be pretty expensive if you're looking to pay gold. I'm assuming uh, you're not interested in that. I'll give you 10 the gold the pieces. So anyway, we have a bunch of healing potions. Uh, they uh, would I'd probably be willing to part with them for 70 gold each. I look at them and I say, well, considering we are going to be using these on your friends, perhaps 50 gold fair market price would be better. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Can I, can I, oh, can I help with that at all? Uh, yeah, sure, what are you gonna say? And be like, didn't Orcard tell you that we were supposed to have a major discount as well? Give me a deception check. Uh, he says, I didn't hear anything about a, uh, discount, but, uh, I mean, I am given discretion on the best way to allocate resources. It says, uh, 55. We'll split the difference. Ah, 55 sounds good. He well, nods. I'm pretty sure the difference would be 35. I, I, I <laughs> look at Nick and I'm just like, shh. <laughs> Uh, uh yeah. by one more would try to do one say how about 45 and you get to keep every five 
Ooh, I believe that as well. Yes. Well, that's that we'll, pay you, we'll pay you 50 and you pocket a little bit for yourself. He says it's a way, good way to get executed, especially since you just tried to bribe me in front of two of the soldiers. <laughs> no, it's 55, friends. I'm already giving you a discount. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I hand over 55 gold for a potion. One of the soldiers says, uh, I don't really like you anyway, quartermaster. So I'd be happy to report you if you, uh, if you pocket or if you slip them gold or if they slip you gold. And he says, yeah, I know you would, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I say, I just look at everybody and I'm like, friends, friends, there's no reason for this. And I hand out a gold coin to each of them. And I say, this is just for drinks that you guys can be merry later. Looks to the quartermaster. He says, you're going to overcharge me for drinks later, too? Is going to have gold? He's Ooh. like, look, I'm just selling them the potions and going back to work. You two can just shut it. And he, uh, so how many potions are you buying from him? I bought one for me. I don't right. anybody else want. So you pay 55. A steep price. I yeah, five five above market. I mean, it's not bad, but I guess I, if you, you know, Nick, if you need a potion, you can use the party treasury to buy a potion. Being say, no. What else you got? Anything else? He says, well, I have a I have a greater healing potion, but if you can't, uh, if you don't like the price on the regular, I don't think you're gonna want to pay the. Uh, <laughs> The price for the greater. Do you have any candy? <sighs> he says, I, like I wasn't told you wanted candy. I was told you wanted potions. I didn't bring the whole God's damn ar like, weaponry and armory and candy shop with me. It's back but, in the oh, cage. You do, you do have candy. He says, we have rations. We don't have candy. Uh, I can show you how to make candy. But that's for a later date. Uh, just move this door and move yeah. forward. Thank well, you for the potion. Thanks really anyway. He nods. He says, uh, yeah, if uh, if you need any more supplies, come by the cage. I can sell you some stuff. A little cheaper. The uh, He says the, the potions are a little bit more expensive because we're limited on those, but uh, I can sell you some other stuff cheaper if you're looking for just normal equipment. I um, All before, right. before he leaves, I pull some grass out and cast prestidigitation on it and say, here, I have some lovely sweet grass for you when you leave. Yeah, he just waves his hand and walks off. All right. He did not take the grass. Sorry, little fairy. That guy is pretty grumpy. One of the hob or, yeah, hobgoblins says. Would you like to try the sweet grass before we enter? You should. It's totally tasty. Goes to... Uh, to take the grass, and the other guy says, you really going to fall for that? He's a fairy. He's going to make you eat grass. It's going to taste <laughs> like grass. The other guy says, really? Are you going to do that to me, little fairy? I would never do something like I that. I look at him, and I say, he does have candy grass. <laughs> Nick's so, been e eating the crap out of it. So the he guy uh, the guy says, see, I can trust him. He goes to take the grass. What does it taste like? Tastes like grass. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy just laughs. He says, you're an idiot. Uh, let's move this boulder for them. He says, you will be uh, blocked in there. So if you want us to uh, open it back up, it'll take a moment. So be careful if you need to retreat. Because we won't be able to get you out of there right away. Thank you. All right. So they are going to move aside the boulder. Leading to a new area. Also set up incorrectly. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy, the we, never, we didn't we rest go. since our last fight, right? Yeah, we, we have long rested. It took oh, okay, a day to get through. Yeah, you guys should be long rested. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Hope you're ready for the the hurt locker. Here we go. We got um, a cage match. Being sealed in. Hurt locker. Alright, so I'm you more like a few may enter, one may leave. There you go. Oh god. 
surprised it's not beans. All right, so uh, you are entering into a new area. Uh, as you go down the rocky slope a bit, it kind of levels off onto a soft dirt ground. Uh, survival or knowledge nature might tell you something here. Light on myself. Oh, geez. Some bad rolls. Uh, so Juan, I guess Nick, uh, no. you think that this dirt is kind of loose as if something has been digging through it. Look over and I'm just like, yeah, I see that something been digging in these. And, and Jimmy's voice again, mimicking it. Ah, something's been digging around here. See, look at all this loose dirt. If you look around, you can tell there's been obviously an enemy going around here. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not really sure what that means, but... Can y'all see anything, like, on the map? Because I can't. Uh, I have to Just give you light. Thing. Hang on. Oh. So you cast Up light left. on yourself, and uh, you should be able to see now. <clears throat> Yay. Uh, so, Nick, you move ahead a bit, um, and as you are walking... You feel a slight tremor coming from somewhere up ahead. Um, I'm Very not Mary finding boys. my my homunculus servant in the. Uh, it's under resources under... summon. Okay. Something's shaking the ground, boys. I uh, do. We want to wait ten minutes for me to cast this disc. So that people can stand on it, and I'm the only one walking. What? <laughs> so I have a uh, floating. That was disc. perfect. <laughs> We're gonna have float. a what? floating disc that uh, we can all stand on. So floating I mean, dick. so totally it can fly, but uh, it seems like. Uh, that, 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 uh, there's something that senses, or, you know, this, the, the dirt is loose. If we stand on the floating disc, things can't detect we're passing through here. You know, Beans might be right. That, that was a little tremor. I'd hate for anybody to fall through the dirt. And I am pretty light, so I might make a much smaller, um, <laughs> You know, I weigh 35 pounds, so I might make a much smaller uh, tremor than others. Can you not get on the disc as well, Beans? I can, but then... Uh, so the disc can only hold 500 pounds, and it follows me. It stays within 10 feet of me. So that is one of the limitations. Alright, uh, so Oswin, you're starting to feel some more tremors coming from up ahead as you're discussing this. Okay, um, I'm going to have... They, they're still Sorry, kind I... of, they're pretty faint, um, because you have a really high perception, but, uh, yeah, you're feeling more of them. So I'm guessing something's gonna dig up from below to attack us. What are we gonna do about it? The other thing, um, I can cast Detect Magic to see if there's anything that can uh, detect that we're here. I'll jump on your disc. Yeah? Is that the plan? I think mm -hmm. so. Juan? Oxman? I'm thinking that if I run forward, I could piss something off, and then we can all react to whatever I pissed off. That plan works well. Or well. that, too. Right. Yeah. You guys ready? Get your range weapons ready. I'm going to run. He's, cool. the, oh, he's the battle man. We'll let him yeah, do his thing. Uh, and cool. once they look like they're ready, I'm running. Um, I'm ready. Stomping loudly. Uh, so, as you get to there, 
uh, you are running ahead and suddenly uh, the floor gives out. A hole opening up below you. I need a deck mm -hmm. save. There's From a big, me, not... There's a big jumping on that disc. Ten foot hole just uh, opens up under you. Uh, so unfortunately, you are caught off guard by the hole. Uh, luckily, yep. it is not too deep. You would fall twenty feet, slamming into some stone below. Uh, taking seven points of bludgeoning, kind of falling prone. Uh, this hole looks like it was definitely made by something digging through the dirt. It just hadn't collapsed yet. Toss me a rope. Found one problem. Nick, I think there's a rope in your bed. All right, so you are going there to toss him a rope. While they're doing that, I'm going to... Cast cure wounds on myself. Wait, who's uh, who's tossing a rope? There's no one next to the hole right now. I don't have a no I don't have a rope. Nick has it. Damn it! Not that spell. I was trying to get cast uh, cure wounds and it wasn't popping up. All right, so uh, you uh, are tossing the rope down, uh, Nick. When, uh, I'll say, Oswin, you feel that tremor again, although it seems like it's much closer. Hurry up. A creature is going to pop through the wall at the bottom of the hole, chittering oh. at you. Oh my god. I'm going to punch the fucker. Oh, give me initiative rolls. Give me a second, I'm trying to get my... One. So that thing, that thing is down in the hole with him? Like, it's, yeah. it's in the hole? Oh my god. It dug oh, it dug was... through the wall down there basically. Can I get light when you get a chance to too? Yes. Oh my god. So it looks like a large insectoid creature that's like dribbling acid from its huge mandibles. Uh okay, so you have light and we were doing initiatives. Cool. We rolled horrible for initiative. Uh, yeah. And this thing. All right. So the first to act. Matt actually got a seventeen. So he's the only one. Then I don't pick on myself. Oh, uh, never mind. Did you forget to click yourself? I yeah. You may have. I don't think I see you. Want want. <laughs> All right. So the first act, as this thing bursts through the wall, there is going to be uh, Oswin. You actually go before oh, it does. Okay. So you said you're going to punch it. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to punch it with right. my thunder gauntlets. So as it's coming towards you lunging you uh get the first action and uh your gauntlets crackle with energy Ooh, but eight is not going to be enough versus and i missed yeah versus ac 14 you kind of connect with it but the uh the hard carapace uh just deflects the blow and oh. i assume that's going to end your turn and then my uh, homonuclear servant, which I didn't roll the initiative for, goes right after me. And I'm just getting it closer and done with that. Okay. So you went. Uh, the Ankeg is going to go after you. Uh, it is going yep. to screech and try to bite you. 20 to, ACs. Try to, that's why I stood up. Cover my backside. Yeah, grab you and it's... Uh, Big mandible. Oh, but yeah, you uh, your punch kind of threw off its balance as it staggers to the side, smashing into the wall, getting ready to attack again, but its turn is done. Uh, I had to remember to turn my turn off. Combat tracker turn off. Beans, you have a 22? Did you just not roll before? I rolled a 17 before, but didn't have my token selected. Oh, uh, all right, Beans, what are you doing? 
Uh, how far down is he? Can I see him? You'd have to go next to the edge of the hole to see him. Cool. Uh, then I guess I am... I mean, there's not much I can do. I'm going to scoot there, and I'm going to take the dodge action. All right. Uh, so you are moving towards the hole cautiously. One. Oh, man. I move up 15 feet to the hole. Yeah. I just say, you know... <laughs> and I say, <laughs> what the go. fuck is that thing? It's disgusting. Oh, get out of here, <laughs> here. vile rodent or vile insect. All right. Uh, so wisdom save <laughs> would fail, and it chitters nice. angrily, taking three points of psychic. So he gets disadvantage on his next attack, and then I back up. All right. Just remind me of that. Can uh, I share the same spot as the homunculus? Yes, I think it's small, right? And okay. flying. And flying. Small and flying. So Mark yeah, is, uh, yeah, Mark is flying, but yeah, you should be able to then. I'm gonna go back on the same spot as he's on. Okay, uh, do drop. I move twenty foot. Not having us check mark it. No, oh, I'm oh. just gonna. No, it, it takes too long. I'm just gonna do it myself. Um, going. I'm gonna move another five. Yeah, yeah, five foot. I'll have a better shot if I'm hovering above the hole, right? Uh, sort of. It, it kind of has cover because it's partially in the wall, so it would have plus two to its AC from uh, down there. But if I was, if I was on the outside, I would have a worse shot. Is, or is that? Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to get a good shot from where it is right yeah. now. You'd have to be down in the hole, and at that point, you'd be meleeing it. Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. Okay. Um, but you do have plus one high ground, so it's only minus two and or plus two instead of three. Okay, I'm going to. Well, you yes, see, yes. hmm. got heavy armor, so I'm, I guess I shouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, let's just play it safe and do an eldritch blast. All right, so ooh, no nine is gonna bounce off. Oh yeah, you got something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna use my favorite of RSL. Um, so I'm gonna use the two d four. Okay. Two d four. Seven uh, plus nine. Yeah, so sixteen would beat its AC, blasting awesome. the creature as it slams into the wall from uh, missing Oswin. Uh, you would shoot it for eight force yes. damage. Awesome. And I uh, I say to Oswin, you have this, Oswin? And I end my turn. Alright, Nick. From below. Um, I guess I will... Wait, what? From below. From, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what I was saying with that. Nick, what are you oh, doing? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just e-blast them. Alright, so you as well fire down the hole. Uh, 14 will miss it thanks to the cover in the hole. Oh. Yeah, it's partially obscured because of it's like behind the dirt in its own little tunnel. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else? No, I guess not. Alright, so into the new round. Uh, you start feeling a bunch more tremors underneath you. Uh, I'll say, uh, like here, here, and here. Uh, Beans, you go first. That's, uh... Um... You said there's one behind me. Uh, yeah, there's some tremors underneath you. Oh, I don't want to... I'll sit up my feet and, uh, hold an action to... Well, no, I don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, let's group up. Why not? Well, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna dodge again. 
All right, so you're moving around, dodging. All right. Uh, and I will yell out, uh, can somebody get Oslo in a row to get out of there? All right. I already did. He's, yeah, Nick was in the process. He has the rope down there. Uh, but Oswin cool. has not climbed out yet. Uh, so another Ankeg breaks through the floor here. <laughs> uh, and it is going to inhale, uh, then exhale, spraying a bunch of acid. That was uh, cute. So I need... Let's see. Covered in its goop. I need uh, some deck saves from the four of you. Whoa. Uh, Nick, or sorry, three of you, because I forgot you're down the hole, uh, Oswin. I I need to do one for my. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, the uh, Yeah, exactly. So it would be four for the uh, homoculus. So, yeah. Uh, the four uh, of you would be in the one. Uh, DC the 13 deck save. But I, I am in the way, right? Uh, well, he's 10 feet up, so he can spray it through you as well. I figured. All right, that's he's, safe. He's big. Yes. Holy crap. All right, so Nick yeah, made it. Juan made it. Oh. Dewdrop was caught off guard. Yeah. Uh, what about the homunculus? Uh, rolled a three as it shows above Juan. Oh, who am I missing? Uh, oh, yeah, I get, uh, well, only half damage if I succeed. Yeah, Aren't there four or of you? Who I am fail. I missing? Uh, Oswin. I think the guy was there. Oh, uh, Oswin. No. The Oswin. Yeah. The, the, the homo nucleus servant, oh, yeah, I got all four. servant okay. was one of the four. Oh, and I was... only take half damage with the homo nucleus servant because of the invasion, which I just posted. All right, so there would be uh, nine points of acid, or four if you made it, or, you know, evasion, as uh, you are sprayed with some acid, those of you who did not die, by the way. Uh, that is it for the Ankeg. Okay. Yeah, luckily it wasn't too bad. Uh, Oswin, down the hole. I mean, give me a second here. Uh, I'm going to be punching, but four. Yeah, four. And this thing is right next to me, right, Lou? Yeah, it is adjacent okay. to you. It's about like eight feet up. Like it's uh, it's a very big bug. Oof. I'm going to be punching the one that's right next to me with my thunder gauntlets. Try it. So you let loose some punches. Oh Ooh. no! Ah. That is going to bounce off. Uh, unfortunately, yep. once again, uh, missing him. Yep. Right. And then, as a bonus action, I do my defensive field. Which gives me temporary extra p uh, hit points. So I'm look, trying to look at so I can put it. All right. So you raise your field uh, at the end of your turn. Uh, another one of these things. My... Yeah. Is there something ah, else? There it is. Defensive field. Boom. And since the homonucleus goes right away after, um, is this solid wall that... I don't think that's true. I think your homonucleus has its own initiative. No, the homonucleus goes right after. It's Can you link familiar. it? I'm trying to find it. Give me a second. Although, even if it does, yeah, we would have to put it on the initiative tracker. I've tried, and it's not letting me tag it as being flying either, so I've been frustrated. Can you click on the token? I've been able to click on the token and adjust its health. I did the second initiative thing. So you just... Oh, there it is. Oh, the one. Why is my... Uh, now my initiative is 15 instead of the 9.2 something. Because that was the last roll. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Did you... I mean... Well, you can you can adjust it. Um, but... All right. So there. what's your... Well, I've, 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 if you uh if you're saying your homoculus doesn't roll initiative, yeah, what's it doing after you? Um I'm having it move closer to me to be able to uh interact with me when there's time and that's it. And going back to dodging. Okay, so it goes back to dodging. Uh so this thing, uh as it pops out. 
Um, this is your familiar. Is that beans? Is that beans? Stephen Hawking? That's, correct. That's, that's, that's my hop, yeah. Okay. It should be dodging right now since it hasn't done anything. So this guy is going to come here. Notice where he pops out of the floor. He is going to spray acid this way, hitting the two of you and possibly his own guy. Uh, so I need deck saves from the two of you. Uh, beans and uh, Bullshit. Uh, Dewdrop. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, and oh. I'll roll for the Ankeg. So they're not immune to poison. Uh, Ankeg would make it. So it would be nine points of acid or four, again, if you made it. As you are singed by acidic breath. Uh, that would be it for that one. Uh, the one down the hole is going to continue attacking Oswin. Let's see. So it is going to lunge at you again. Attempting to bite. Ah, yes. Good call. Uh, 12 would miss uh, as you and the creature are just kind of, uh, um, you know, like. flailing at each other uh, ineffectively. Uh, one. Yeah, I look over at this thing that's taking beans and I'm like, why don't you pick on someone your own size? As a bonus action, unsettling words. Uh, oh, beans. Uh, if you are dodging, you have advantage to deck save. So you would have made your deck save. Just FYI. Because you rolled a 15 as your second number. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, dodging. It's the only save it will give you advantage to. But yeah. Holy fuck. Uh, and then I uh, use Phantasmal Force. Um, and I <laughs> imagine these like these giant like uh, spiked, you know, metal chains coming up and wrapping around him and just dragging him down to the ground to keep him pinned to the ground. Okay. So you uh, chant as the spell goes off. You begin concentrating. He is going to make an int save, and he has minus one d six on the save. All right, well, he definitely did not make it. Uh, so he would take... Does he take damage now or on his turn? I forget. Uh, I believe he takes it now because he takes him as real. Hold on, let me see. On a failed save, no effect. Uh, succeed while the target is affected. He thinks it's real. Each round on my turn, it okay. deals. So yeah, it's not yeah, it's on your turn. Uh, all right, so he is wrapped in the chains, uh, screeching. Not it sure is, it's what my, is. It's a, it says on my turn, it takes the damage. Uh, is that a each round on your turn? Okay. So I'm assuming it would do it now, and then every time I continue holding it. Uh, yeah, I guess you just cast it, but all right. So it would take six points of psychic from the phantasmal and uh, be wrapped up in these chains. Uh, anything else? Yeah, it's just uh, the chains are just going to start like constricting and pulling him and keeping him pinned to the ground. And that's it. All right. Uh, do drop. I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to do a shocking grasp on this one all right so you attack uh yeah 25 will strike it sending jolts of electricity through it for four and taking away its reaction all right and then i'm going to bonus action um twin spell a healing word you can do that right uh, I believe so. Healing word only yeah, targets one person. Yeah, one. Okay. So twin spell, a healing word. I'm going to heal myself and beans. All right. So you spend uh, two spell points. Oh, one. I'm, points. Doing, I'm doing a level one. So 
It'll just be so that's that's for beans, and then this next one will uh, be. Can for you me. link twin spell? Yes, yes. One sec. Link it. Okay. So you heal yourself for five, and how much for beans? Ah, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh wait. Uh, let me see something. So I think it just heals for five for both of you because the spell is the same for both. Oh, perfect. Here. Okay. So it just heals right. you both for five. Just you have two targets for that one spell. Uh, all all right. right. So yeah, beans. You are healed for five. Uh, let me do my plus five real quick. And then I'm going to take my movement. Uh, let's see. Going to move. Well. I don't want to keep hitting. I don't. I don't want to keep getting hit by acid. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see, I can go since since he doesn't have a reaction, I can go around him now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can go anywhere you want. He can't swing at you. Uh, you can fly. Well, he's taking up the area, so it would be difficult to rain. Well, no, you have to overrun or uh, tumble to get past him. Oh, so, um, yeah, because he's taking up the hallway because he's bigger than where you can fly. Okay, I'm going to... You know, now nah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go next to um, Juan, and that's that's my turn. All right. Uh, so there is some more rumbling. Mm. And another one pops out of the ground. Uh, oh, this... okay. Thank you. Can I have another? Uh, this one is going to turn towards Beans and attack him with the flank, but with disadvantage. Why are they all attacking Beans? All right, 11 will miss, luckily. Nope. You dodge around nope. it. You're uh, tasty. Nick. Apparently. Hmm. I guess I'll... Jesus. I'll, I'll hex... Jeez. I'll hex this one. That's, you snap your fingers, summoning a hex, which comes down upon him. And then I'll swing at this guy. Pia. Uh, could you set your hex to display the spell card instead of rolling? Because I'd rather it, like... Yeah, like, yeah, uh, it better. just do the description. Uh, but 15 will strike it. Six, or six, or 17 with the flank. As you okay. cut into it from behind. Doing... Yeah. Nice roll. 11 and a d6. Okay, so 12. Uh, the creature will screech angrily, angrily uh, turning around towards you. And yeah, I guess that's it for my turn. I'll mark myself as concentrating. Alright. Lou, does the does this guy have uh flank if his friend is like being constricted? Uh well he's not like he's basically restrained and you can still flank restrained. Because he can still attack while he's restrained. He's just a disadvantage. Okay. Um but beans, you are up. I am unconscious. Yeah, the chains wouldn't paralyze him. They just make it really hard for him to attack. Alright, uh, so... That guy's restrained? Yeah. Effectively, I would uh, count him as restrained with the chains. I don't know how smart these guys are, but the dude in front of me, I'm gonna throw a Tasha's hitty slacker on. Are you tempted on this guy who just turned towards Nick? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, unfortunately, it is not affected. Its AC is uh, yeah. less than four. Or, sorry, its yeah. intelligence is less than four. That's kind of what I thought. I'm at it. Sorry, guys. Right, so you expend the magic, but yeah, it does not, uh, fortunately, is not uh, at all affected. Didn't anything? I teach you anything in school, Beans? Apparently not. Don't tell bugs <laughs> jokes. They're not. Uh, they're not comedy yeah. fans. And uh, I'll uh, 
yeah, that, that, that's my turn. Situation is really yeah. bugging me. Yeah, the situation I got, um, is really. Yeah, no, that's my turn. <laughs> I'm Boom, just gonna take my off. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. I'm not trying to encroach upon Aww. your jokes. Ooh. That was a little bit better than bugging. Uh, all right, no, so this guy. Uh, it looks like he still expended his acid, so he's just going to come over here and attack Nick. Because he can't attack Oz when he's down the hole. Oh, but he stumbles and you easily jump out of the way. Uh, Oswin. We'll see. Chitter, chitter. All right, there we go. C crash yes. as you uh, impact the uh, creature with your thunder gauntlets. Falco punch! He takes eight. As there's a crackle from down the hole and some more angry chittering. And that oh, would good. wound him. Thunder damage does work on these guys. Yay. It does. Anything else? Uh, no. And, uh, I... Wait. I do not see anybody who's injured on the uh, track or on the well, uh, field. So you can't see yeah, them anyway because they are upstairs and you're downstairs. Is this so, guy not injured? Uh, he's no. winded, like you see the the little flames. I'm I'm talking about teammates for my homunculus. So my homunculus oh. is going to stay dodging. Uh, so that yeah done. All right. Uh, so the creature here. Attempts to recharge its thing, does not. Uh, it's just gonna swipe at beans with a flank. What's ah. he doing something with, uh. Oh, he's, uh, restrained, right? yeah. So he is restrained, luckily, and seven would become nine, but that would miss you. Thank uh, you. Like so that's you. it for him. <laughs> uh, this one down the hole, enraged by your punches, is gonna try to bite you again. Uh, actually frustrated, it's just gonna spit a bunch of acid on you, because it's not that smart. I need a deck save. Oh, so that, I believe, makes it. It's barely. Uh, yeah, so that would make it. Uh, you are grazed by a stream of acid taking five points of damage. Uh, Thank you. And that would end that one's turn. Oops. The monkey uh, so, uh, Oswin. Or oh, wait. He goes after Oswin. Or oh, wait. Why is Oswin represented by the monkey? -less? That's weird. It, it, yeah, no, it's it's pissing me off. Putting it on the tracker, right. it just uh, kept bringing I'll, it up. I'll, I'll, here, I'll, I'll do it. Let's see. Monkey -less, uh, roll initiative. Uh, what is uh, your initiative? It's moved me up to 15, 15 now. Well, what is your initiative supposed to be? Um, I think it was 9.14. 9.14. Enter. Homunculus would go at 9.13. Enter. And it's fixed. Uh, Thank you. So you would go, then the homunculus would go. So Oswin. Uh, you, wait, it was, I just went, you so, went, so, uh, your, hum... wait, it is, it is Juan's turn, or the homunculus, yeah, homunculus oh, is okay, so you guys went already this turn, right? Yes, okay, yes, done, uh, Move. the thing down here went, uh, Juan, yep. it would be your turn. Okay, so it's gonna take another d6 of damage. All right, give me a d6 roll. Nice. Six psychic, all right. And then, uh, as my main action. Oh, boy. I'm going to stay here, actually. I don't feel like moving. But I'm going to try to stab this dude with my rapier. here. Okay. No, or not. Double nat one. Alright, so that will <laughs> miss him. Just bouncing off his eye. Is that hide. bugged, or is that just... Well, that's just a really bad roll. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's gonna be my turn. Alright, do drop. 
You said the ground is unstable, right? In certain places it is, yeah. Okay. It's soft, so they can dig through it easily. I'm going to try to maybe collapse the ground under this one. I'm going to use well, uh, he's, Earth He's coming out of the ground, so you don't think it's going to matter. Oh, you don't think it would, it would like, work? If he's Half his body is underground right now. Ah. Uh. Cause he's a it's a burrowing creature that's why uh that's why the ground is unstable because you assume they've been digging around down here okay i'm going to use bonus action to summon a spiritual no that's wait hold up let's get something going here that's basically uh, like a mole it's like half its body's out of the ground and half of it's that, underground that's a bonus action that's bonus action okay whatever yeah sure all right, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a spiritual weapon. All right, so the spiritual weapon appears uh, smacking into him, but uh, 13 would miss. Just uh, kind of grazing him. It looks like a giant silver sword. Okay, let me see here. Where is it? Where's the uh, spell icon? effects? Yeah, or at oh. least that's where it should be. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. And I'm going to do a uh, Shocking Grasp. Alright, so you blast him with energy uh, from your fingers. 21 will strike him. Alright. Channeling electrical energy through him, you nice. deal 8 points, which would wound him. Okay. Is uh, all sizzled by that and uh, cannot take oppies or reactions. Yeah, yay. Okay. Uh, so if I go right here, can this guy do anything to me since he's down he's there? He's down the hole, so no. Okay. All right. Um, he's uh, he's like 20 feet down, so he's 10 feet below you. Awesome. Okay. I, I in my turn. Okay. Uh, the Ankeg is going to look towards, uh, I guess, yeah, Nick, because Nick's the one who hit him a bunch, and snap at you. Uh, oh, actually, he's going to use his acid spray. So he's wow. going to spray uh, Nick and Toad Leaf. I need deck saves. Leaf of Pebbles. No. God damn it. God Bad damn bug. It. Bad bug. Womp no. Womp. Uh, so 12 will fail. Uh, About... Let me reel my sheet real quick. Do you need uh, buttons, token buttons? So oh if you click God. on your token, you can click on the save button, just FYI. But you both would fail. Uh, taking 12 acid each. And that would be it for him. Uh, Nick. Oh, and I I'm need a concentration check from Nick. Oh, I'm also not seeing the uh, the icon for the sword, uh, or rather for the spiritual weapon. Can't find it. Uh, let's see. Spell effects, spiritual weapon. Here you go. Why? Okay. Uh, it's under resources I... spell effects. It's like the second one. It, it's on the the journal. No, not on the journal thing, is it? What, 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 yeah, it's what, in the journal. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I guess I have access to that stuff. So I lost I lost my concentration, so he's no longer hex. Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, all right. No hex. So the hex would poof away on this guy. As you are distracted by being bathed in acid, sadly. Bullshit, bro. Um, I'm just gonna cast Burning Hands on these two then, I guess. These two guys? Alright, so you uh, let loose a stream of fire right into them. Uh, deck saves. That's a good roll. And fuego! Oh, that guy made Damn it. it. Uh, second guy... Fails it. All right. So second guy takes 14 fire, becoming wounded by that attack. 
Uh, the one that made it takes half damage, I believe. Seven, nice. Uh, which would put him to badly wounded. That's right, bitches. Burn! And it's like anthill. Both right. get ready to lunge at you now. Anything else? No, that's all. Bring it. Bring all it, right. Bitch. New round, beans. Uh, I think I am going to spend the Misty Step. All right. Uh, scoot over here. And all then, right. Uh, I'll throw a Mind Sliver on the one that uh, is badly wounded. All right. So in save, I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he can even make this. No, it fails. <laughs> uh, so he is uh, still alive, but now like bleeding out his eyes a bunch from the psychic damage. Does look like and he's going to last much there. longer. All right, you scoot back a bit. All right. Uh, okay, this Ankeg is going to lunge at Nick, angered by the flames as he's like all scorched with third degree burns. Nope. Uh, Just misses. 18, luckily, you uh, throw your shield up, almost getting knocked off your feet by the impact. Your shield sizzling with acid from where it bit. Uh, but that will end its turn. This one is going to try to do an investigation. Try to disbelieve. Uh, so it's going to use its action to investigate. Oh, that was a really good roll. What's the ace or DC? 15. I believe it's 15. Let me double check. I don't. It's 14. Yeah, I was going to say 15 would be really high at this level. Uh, all right, so it uh, figures out that it is not really in chains as the illusion falls apart. But that was its action, so it can't do anything else. Uh, oh, it can attempt to recharge, uh, which it fails. Oswin. Nick, uh, Nick, that should probably be a 15 if you have your. Uh... Your rod of the pack keeper. That Unless... was uh, not Nick. Oh, is it not Nick? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was uh, Juan. Oh. Uh, all right. I'm not holding. I don't hold the staff, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so Oswin, another punch, but another uh, deflection off of its armor. Okay, I'm shooting him next round. Okay, done. Same with the uh, um, homunculus. We're both done. That's uh, the hominu hominuculus uh, hovers, <laughs> dodging, I assume. Yep. All uh, right, the one down the hole. Oh, he does recharge his acid, and he's going to... Didn't he spray you with acid last turn? Yes, he did. Oh, but you had uh, temp HP, right? Yeah, I had uh, dodge taking half damage and temp HP. All right, so he is going to try to spray you again as his acid came back up. So go ahead he and hit. give me... Oh, yeah, that will hit. Uh, oh, 14 acid. As you are this time caught in the blast, uh, getting scorched by chemical burns. Uh, but uh, it's that not, is... Yeah. It's not letting me add the uh, half heart for hit points. Uh, for identifier. Uh, oh, I see it. I see it, yeah. Oh, I don't. You might be just uh, slow or something. Lagging. Maybe uh, lagging, yeah. Oh, I'm very slow. <laughs> Wah -wah. Done. Thanks. Next. That's what my teachers always told me. All right, one. So, unfortunately, the creature did break your spell. Um, oh, man. Well, I'm just going to try to finish this one off in front of me and stab him. All right, so distracted by Nick, uh, 16 would strike it for five points. So oh, it is so low, but still alive. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, then uh, that's a bonus action. No, that's going to be it. All right, so your turn ends. Do drop. Flying above the five feet back. Okay. Then, yeah. Then. Okay. So we're going to take some movement real quick. Let's see. 30 foot right there. Uh, then I'm going to use uh, one of the charges from my ring. 
to do a guiding bolt level two. All right, which one? Uh, I'm, I'm going to twin spell it with, with two uh, two of my last sorcery points at these two right here. All right. So you guiding bolts blasting the two of those. Let me, uh, let me find it real quick. Guiding, there it is. Guiding bolts. All right. right. So the first one, 25, will strike it, uh, doing 14, which will put it to very wounded. Uh, second attack. 12. Oh, 12 will miss. All right. Lou, if you treat them as the same spell, wouldn't it be the same attack and damage from the first It's the one? same damage for both, but the attack would be different for each one. It would be separate attacks. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. And then I end my turn. All right, so unfortunately this one is still alive when its turn comes up. It's bloodied and just uh, almost completely annihilated. Uh, but it is going to turn towards uh, the last guy who hit it, which is going to be Juan. Doing a bite attack. Oh, but luckily you dodge. Whoa, getting out of the way. Nick. Oh. Uh, so if I reach in my bag and I just like touch the rod of the Pact Keeper, is that enough to like get the uh, spell slot back? Uh, do you one, have a free hand? And are no. you attuned to it? Yes, I am attuned to it. So if I so if I like drop you... my sword. Yeah. So I mean, if you have the rod in it. your belt, you could say you drop your sword and grab that rod for a round, expending the ability. Uh, but then you would have to pick up your sword before you could attack with that again. Okay. And then and it's I would an action, still have I an think, action, to get your right? Spell slots back. Now it's an action, I think, to get your spell Is slots it? back. Is it? So, it's an action? So if it's an I action, so. then yeah. That no, would it just says. Not positive. No, it's no not it not just action. says hold it. It just yeah. says while holding it. Yeah, so. so. Yeah, if you want to drop your sword and grab onto it for uh, a moment. Um, yeah, just to get one spell slot. Sure. So yeah, that would give you a spell slot back. Okay, boom. And then I'll cast Burning Hands again on these two bitches. Uh, so neither of them can survive that. <sighs> they are torched uh, and dying. Nice. Uh, and then I guess that's it. Because <laughs> I can't. Well, um, wait, hold on. It is an action. Oh. Uh, I was about it's to say, a I'm te looking it up. Like, cheater. Oh. All right. It doesn't say it's an action. It just says while holding it, bro. In the second paragraph. As an action while holding the rod. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I cheated. So I got one spell slot back. And then I guess that's my action, and never mind. <laughs> All right. You pull in some magic, getting ready to do it yeah. next turn. And Beats. I'll say, get ready to burn. Get ready to burn. You're still alive <laughs> by that point. Wait, why is right. Dewdrop saying my bad? <laughs> I'm the resident war. Uh, I'm the resident warlock. I should know this shit. <laughs> oh. I see. Uh, well, beans. Top of the round. What you gonna do when they come for you? Thanks for ruining it. Bad dude. beans. Bad beans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I don't think you're flying, right? So I can hide underneath you? Uh, yes, gonna, he's above uh, you. Throw a, uh, another mind sliver on the one, right? It's up next. Oh, man, what is it with you guys enrolling enough to put them to one HP? Yeah. Uh, it would fail, but yeah, it is still alive. Just barely. Oh. Now you really need that fire. Oh, crap. Lou, I forgot about my, uh, my sword. Can it attack? I completely forgot. Uh, technically, you don't have to attack with it each turn, because you would spend your oh. bonus action, but bonus sure, action. we'll yeah. say, uh, we'll say you can attack with it, because I'm feeling generous. Yay! Oh my goodness. Thank yeah. you. Wait, are, kind of are you on the turn order? Yeah, there you are. Uh, all right, so you smack this guy in the head, and he goes down. 
Yay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, Beans, you did your thing. The ank egg. Oh. It's going to... Was that? Oh, you just hit it, uh, Beans. So it is going to come over this way, giving Nick an oppy. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything. Oh, yeah, you got your rod. So, yeah, yeah. you can't... Uh, let's see. Can't you punch ten. it? I don't know. It, right? One point of damage? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what's I'm your strength say, modifier? I'm just going to say I'm not going to take it. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna take he it. slaps it. So it comes over towards you. Oh, it's gonna bite you. Look out, uh, beans. Yeah. Going to uh, shield that. Right. So as its acidy maw comes down on you, you knock it back with a shield spell. Uh, this one over here is confused by the spiritual weapon and is going to try to attack it and just goes right through it. Nothing happens. Oswin. It has one intelligence. Oswin. I I heard I was just doing that. Uh, all right, on this guy in front of you. Yep, I'm tired of him. All right, so he takes twelve. All of them. Uh, yep. As you blast him with three magic missiles, blowing uh, some holes in his armor. Fuck yeah. And then he is badly wounded. Give me a second here. On my bonus action, I do the defensive field. Okay. Giving myself temporary hit points again. Done. Homo nucleus is done too. So go ahead and move on to the next. All right. So the Ankeg, angered by your magic missile barrage, is going to once again. Well. Oh, he's going to recharge his acid. He's going to spit on you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's kind of he's a gonna bitch. bite at you, but oh well. Yeah, he's just, just spitting on you over and over. Uh, so you would get struck for nine acid. You guys are having an epic battle down the hole. Uh, ending his turn. Juan. Oh, man. Okay. Uh... I'm going to come over here. Yeah. I am going to vicious mockery that creature down the hole. All right. Uh, so you assault him with psychic energy, uh, which he will fail, taking three and having disadvantage. And I am also going to say, Oswin, you got this. I believe in you. As I throw five healing energy his way. Alright, so Oswin feels invigorated from your healing word. And uh, Thank you. Um, You're a good uh, one, Juan. You're a good one, Juan. Uh, <laughs> You're a good one. <laughs> I'm going to use the last of my movement to go there. Okay. That's my turn. Mm, do drop. So good. There's a big angry bug in front of you trying to bite uh, beans. Yeah. Um. I just chant in Sylvan and do a shocking grass. Take this Eight. bug. Bzz. Uh, the bug would be overwhelmed by the electrical current and fall down to dying. Yay! And see, then we're going to do a bonus action. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Do, do. Okay. Um, so, sword is going to attack. That's not a bonus action, right? It just it just does its thing? Or how does no, that it's work? a bonus right. action. Oh, it is a bonus action. Okay, all right. Uh, he looks almost dead. Okay. I look almost dead. Perfect. Uh, chemical burns. All right, yeah. go right and yeah, don't forget your spiritual weapon. Yes, but I don't really. No, wait, I forgot. Hold up, I'm doing. I think stuff. he was gonna heal someone. I'm I'm doing stuff, doing stuff. And yes. 
Um, you know what? It's fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, look, gonna, he's all out of poison. You're good. The spray. I'm gonna hit, he's, this, he's gonna hit this thing right here with the spiritual weapon. Um, let's see. You mean the one that's dying, or the one that's alive? The one right next to the spiritual weapon, right here. Oh, okay. Twenty-four. Uh, yeah, twenty-four would strike him. For five. All right, doing five points of damage. I uh, that would wound him. Right in, in my turn. All right. Uh, so Nick. Uh, I'm gonna drop my rod, my long, big rod, and just drop it on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot this guy with the uh, I'll just blast. All right. Yeah. Twenty-four will strike him. Uh, you know, if you oh. shoot him while holding the rod, you'll get a plus one to that attack, right? Oh shit. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Just uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, so you blast him for twelve. Uh, putting him to very wounded. Nice. And then I'll be like, "All right, you're dead. Next round. All right, that's it." Yeah. Maybe pick up the <laughs> rod again. Um. You don't need a plus one. Oh, can one. I? Or... Huh? Nah, I don't need a plus one. I don't need a plus one. All right. No, I'm good. So round five beans. Round six. Are you shooting down the hole? You're muted if you're talking. Sorry. Yes, I am shooting down the hole. Um, I guess I'll use a chill touch on this guy, hoping that it does more damage. Oh! Oh, uh, no, e that would miss just barely as you chill touch the wall around the creature below. And I would yell, sorry, Oswin. <laughs> sorry, Oswin. No worries. Right. Uh, so the Ankeg is dying. The other Ankeg, uh, unable to hit the spiritual weapon, is going to crawl over here and strike at Nick. Nom. Oh, luckily Nick dodges out of the way. Oswin. Um. Kill it. Murder. Squish um, the bones. Hoping I hit? No, I don't. Uh, no, 11 would not be enough. Crackle, crackle. So you knock uh, it in its hide. Done. Done. Move on to number 9.11. Alright. Uh, so the creature down the hole uh, is going to screech and attempt to flee. So you would get an oppie on it as it does. This is badly wounded and it does not want to die necessarily. Uh, yeah, 14, 14 would punch it. Oh, and it would die attempting to flee. Uh, one. Uh, all right. I am going to just step up to this dude and say, "Have at ye!" Oh yeah, you stab him as he's about to swing at Nick, doing three points of damage. And a phone goes off. That cell and phone rings. Then I go, "Ah oh, shit!" That's <laughs> fake. Take him down. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> done my turn. Alright, do drop. Um Can you kill it before right. it gets to attack someone? Yeah, maybe. I Hey I do drop my, that. I swing my sword uh my so my large silver sword at it. Alright. The silver sword comes spinning towards it, striking. Uh for six it's barely alive, but still up. Okay. I I, uh, I come over here That's and... Another, another one point of health. I do a Eldritch Blast. 
Oh, and that would kill it. Blasting Boom. a hole right through it. Rah, collapses. Alright, so the enemies have been felled. Yep. Things uh, yep. are quiet. What do you want to do? Can somebody hold on to the rope so I can climb out? Alright. Not being under pressure, I'll say you were able to just use the rope to climb out. You don't have to roll. Okay. Uh, Toad Leaf says, everyone gather up. I'll heal everybody. Damn. Uh, so nature Damn. might tell you something here. If anyone has nature knowledge trained. Um, I'm going to gather up to he be healed. I don't, but I want to jump on that discs. Uh, so beans. On beans. Uh, you think that these creatures, their hides, can be used to create special types of uh, magical armor. Um, but they are a pain to skin. Ooh. I will uh, pass that along. Should we uh, collect our hides, friend? Usually acid-resistant armor can be made uh, from ank eggs, like acid-resistant, uh, like leatherish plate mail. Thanks for the healing word, buddy. Uh, the prayer of healing takes 10 minutes, doesn't it? It does. Yes. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Why are you, uh, yeah. So, Why you have to... so no one's if healed he... for 11 just yet. Okay, so oh. yeah, if he says it goes off, then, then heal. Uh, so you start the prayer of healing, hoping nothing shows up in the meantime. And uh, I'll start collecting the hides. Yeah. Uh, that's going to take an hour per. You can get the essence quick, but skinning these things is going to take a long time. What do you guys think? Skin what if up. we all? What if we all skin one at one at the same time? Well, if we're doing well, that, I don't think everyone has leather working or knowledge nature because you would need that skill to know yeah. how to skin it. I'll say two of you can work together to speed it up, uh, but yeah, at least one of you has to know what like because they have to have, they'd have to direct the other person. And it but wouldn't it's still, be uh, useful it's for like four of you. It's still roughly going to be what an hour or close to it. Two hours. Uh, for each what? bug, it would be an hour to skin it. Oh, so, shit. Uh, if two well, of you worked, then maybe like a half hour, but it would be dangerous to do that here. Yeah. Obviously, because there are these things are digging around. You can always come back for them on the way out, drag, right? Drag them out like and let's idea. skin them right on the other side. Cool. Sounds good. That sounds we great. have to be let out. Yeah, could we? Um, I mean, we're right by the door. Could we knock on the door and be like, hey, skin this bitches for us? Tell the hobgoblins at least, at, uh, least, at least pull them out now so that way nothing you, takes our uh, So you yeah. could probably, I'll say your camp is in the uh, the cave. You could probably have them try to pull it out. It would put them in a little bit of danger. Um, but if you uh, want to have so them. I, uh, one of my uh, awakened spellbook, I think it is, lets me cast a ritual instantly. Okay. Um, so I would cast the. Uh, Tensor's floating disc, and so so that we could transport them out really quickly. Uh, well, do we need to do that? So that was I the uh, idea. That was the essence. Um, you were collecting beans. Cool. Sweet. I think it's Thanks. a good idea to at least just take them right outside the cave, so that way we can um, deal with them whenever we wish. wish. Uh, Great. yeah. Each of these bodies probably weighs like. I don't know. Uh, it might be more than 500 pounds, though, because these are huge bug bodies. Each one of them? Probably? I mean, they're like the size of a small car. I'm guessing they're pretty heavy. No way, dude. They're inside just filled with mush. Probably like... <laughs> probably like 20 pounds, yeah. Just like big floating balloons. <laughs> Cool. Um, in that case, we'll not expend that. Or yeah, I, that being like, if they were medium sized, it'd probably be fine. But being large, these things are really big, so I'm guessing they're heavy. Uh, Damn it. Yeah. So, do we leave them here? Or do we move on? What do you guys think? Let's let's drag them it out. Sounds like we need to uh, rest. I don't think it's. I mean, you, you could probably spend some time dragging them out if you want, like, if all four of you were working cool. together. 
Uh, Toadleaf stops his prayer and says, "If we're going to rest, I do not like to wake. Uh, I do not like to waste the magic." That's uh, a wise plan, Toadleaf. Understood. All right, so you're gonna spend some time dragging these out. Uh, let's yep. see if anything happens. Uh, okay, so about 20 minutes pass as you kind of get the uh, hobgoblins to open up the outside and uh, drag each of these out. So you can say you have uh, four um, Ankeg carcasses at your camp. Excellent. Fortunately, your camp does not have a leather worker to work on this while you're in here. But yeah, you can add those to your camp. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll just say they're like 700 pounds each. They're big boys. Can Gurgolo eat those bodies after we're done oh. skinning them? Uh, gur well, they're not made of acid. They have acid glands. Um, yeah. Gurgolo would look kind of grossed out. Um, Can we prepare them and make them like food? Are you trying to do dinner in a dungeon? I'm just saying yeah. 700 pounds. <laughs> Sounds delicious. I mean, you could probably prepare ankeg meat as something. Yeah. I'm not sure what a ankeg would taste like, whatever a bug might taste like. In a nation, it'll taste like candy. I'm going to salt and fry it. Dungeon. Uh, so are we taking a short rest? Delicious in dungeon? Yeah, delicious yeah. in dungeon or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want, you can take a short rest at the entrance here with your camp. Okay. Because I want to roll some dice. <laughs> Alright, so you are outside. The hobgoblins will uh, roll the rock back. One of them says, what did you see in there? We heard some noises. I guess they would... Never mind. They, they saw you drag things out, so they know what you saw. Uh, they would be freaked out by the huge bug bodies. Uh, so we're passing an hour. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, nothing happens in that hour. You're uh, fairly safe up here. So go ahead and spend a short rest if you wish. It is now 11.50 in the you morning. You guys all get an extra... If you wanted to take it back, I have Song of Rest, so you get to add a d6 to your health roll. Well, you roll the d6, and they add whatever uh, you oh. roll. All right. Well, bam! All right, so each would gain six if you spent a hit die. As, so you can uh, take back a hit die if you need it. As Juan plays, plays a relaxing tune. kind of a regaling our the epic fight of Oswin versus Ankeg 1v1. Oh, I was going to say we should take a 10 minute, but I just realized we're almost at the end here. Uh, I actually, I have to go now. I have to take care of some stuff. But, uh, uh, not possible. You have to stay. Oh, Alright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, while he's that's, gone, that's I'd fine. like to kill and loot Toadleaf. Uh, right. Toad Leaf is AFK. He can't react. No, just kidding. Mm, okay. <laughs> Mash, smash him with a rock. Toad, <laughs> he's just like as a glazed <laughs> over look. You just walk up. <laughs> Bam. Pluck, pluck his pluck his wings off. Make make uh, some costume jewelry out of it. So he's oh. missing a lot. It's getting uh, dark. I think at least one. Oh area. my god. <laughs> All right. So uh, Toad Leaf is in the background. That's fine. No no murdering your AFK friends. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, How what about do you maliciously wounding them instead? You can like draw things on his face or something. You know, like, jump on the disc. Wrong? However, I will say this: I think um, how it works, and obviously, I'd have to work with Lou on this. But a fairy can lose its wings, and it takes like I think twenty-four hours for for a wing to grow back. So that's a thing. Yeah. Well, we're not actually having your friends oh, pull your I wings know. off. That would I be know. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we'll just give Bean some idea. But just you, just you just gave Juan some ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, I was I was just saying in the future, Lou, if you want to, you know, flip Toad's Leaf's wings for like a fight or something, that's possible. So, all right, if I feel I like mutilating you, I will. Got it. All right, okay. Providing <laughs> ammo. 
for the DM. Thanks. And st- yeah. Instead, Juan gets his leg cut off or something. No, oh, Lou, yeah. that doesn't grow back. It'll grow back, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so you're going back down, I assume. Yes. Uh, go ahead and make sure you've rested. Uh, but yeah, so you are back down here. Things are quiet. Uh, you, uh, yeah. yeah, you'll have to wait on butchering those ank eggs because you, you know, were resting. But what do you want to do? I want to ritually cast the Pact Magic. Right. Or what do you guys think? Should should I do that, or should I you should I uh, cast the floating disc? I can do one of the two. Um, real quick, uh, Toby, could you send me your MVP vote via um, Discord instead of the chat? Uh, oh. Sorry, I look at beans and I say, why don't you do the uh, the disc, and I'll do the detect magic. That, that seems wise. Uh, only 500 pounds can sit on the disc, FYI. So I don't know how fat you guys are. Lou, when I transform, do I take on the transformation's weight? Uh, you, uh, I think, can change your size. So if you're changing into a certain person, then you would have their weight, yes. Okay. Are you uh, about to change into a mouse? <laughs> I'm about to change, oh, change into a mouse. He has to do a humanoid. Uh, you can change into right. beans. I mean, he is smaller, so. Because I think you can become a size smaller. And beans is only 35 pounds. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so you're now a beans. <laughs> uh so you have, uh, yeah, whatever your weight is plus your gear weight. That would be your weight on the uh, Tensor's floating disc. Oof. If you're using it. Don't think I'm going to make it, boys. It's not going to work. Matt, send me a picture of your character of the token I so I can way change too it. Much. So there can be two beans. Cool. <laughs> to sit, uh, give me one minute. I'll send no more. Well, just for it. Yeah, I think, um, how much do you weigh, uh, Nick? I should weigh, like, 200 pounds. With your gear? Uh, with the gear, another 96. Alright, so that's, like, 300. So, yeah, with you and the two beans, you should be okay, but I don't think Oswin's gonna fit. Uh, nope. Beans isn't hopping on the... Oh. Beans can't. Oh, well, how much do you weigh, Oswin? With your gear? I... My gear is 180 already, and then Oof. my um. Why is my weight not on the thing? 240. 240 total. Two, 240 plus uh, oh. 180. Yeah, I ain't. Oh yeah, that's like that's almost the whole weight. Uh, so yeah, yep. I guess like um like two of you could get on. Like not one it. and one and uh. Nick, I guess. Yeah. So we'll say the two of them are floating as you continue deeper into this place. And by the way, these are wall spaces, so you wouldn't be on those unless you're but climbing. I would be on them because they're safer to walk on, so there. All right, well, no. if you can walk on the wall... No, I, I, I uh, kept trying to move, and then I'd be picking up the disc instead of my character. That's the reason why I did that. Here, I'll, uh, I'll make it so only beans can move the disc. There. Uh, so go ahead if you wish to move forward for the uh, few minutes we have left. We'll explore. I'm uh, going to slowly move forward. Are you still about to die? Who? Oh, you still have this skull and crossbones. Oh. He is not. I can't see him, so thank you. Okay. Scared me. I was like, Jesus. You're going to fall through a hole and just instantly die. <laughs> Well, how else am I supposed to get my fifteenth character on hit on this game? I know. No, uh, that's my that's so, my respect. You're not allowed to uh, hang on a second. Uh, backing uh, up one Oswin. because that's where you started saying so right there. Yeah. So now that you know what you're looking for with your passive perception and your knowledge mm-hmm. of nature, you think that the ground here is unstable. Okay. 
I'm going to slowly, cautiously go on, up to it and then stomp on it to make it so it's a hole and back up. All right. The ground does indeed give way. Falling into a 30-foot pit. Nice. And then I come close to it to look down to see if we have anybody visiting us. Uh, like the other pit, it's like kind of a dirt wall and like a rocky bottom. Oh, I'm I'm saying that other one had uh, one of the ank eggs pop up. So oh no no ank egg down there right now, just empty. Okay. All right, so you move past it deeper into this place. It looks like uh, you get to an area of the cave where it turns in three separate directions, south, east, and west. We'll split up. Nope. Stay right here. I'm going to go here and slowly checking out the land, making sure uh, we don't get so killed. So you see another one of those spots that's unstable in front of you here. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last one. All right, another uh, cave-in. Check to see if anything popped out. Any living creatures? Uh, this one falls out of your vision. You can't okay. see the bottom of God. it, so it's more than 60 feet. Damn. Uh, and, and you uh, actually hear something chittering very far below. Like the sound echoes up the, the pit. I point to my ears and point down. And then um, move on slowly to the next spot. All right, so you step forward. Moving through the cave. Uh, so far, so good. Nick following behind you. I see him going back and forth and back and forth. He's checking. Uh, so as like. you get to the south there, there is some sort of strange obsidian box uh, around oh, yeah. the corner and down the hallway. Uh, Wait, don't go ahead of me. <laughs> Unless you oh, want to go yeah. down a bloody uh, hole. His blasting. Obscure history or obscure arcana, DC uh, 20, might tell you something about that uh, box. Right, so, that is not me. No, uh, you're not sure what that is. Just looks like a obsidian uh, box. So as you step there, Oswin, uh, mm -hmm. a rune on the wall next to you lights up. Radiating energy. Down. Uh, but yeah, it's just lit up right now. It doesn't do anything else. I stand up looking foolish, but hey, Beans, check that out. Uh, Arcana might tell you something about that. Shoot you shoot it? Alright, so you blast the rune, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. Thank God. <laughs> uh, Oswin, that looks like an explosive rune to you. Uh, you're not sure what will set it off, but you're definitely uh, a little bit, you know, wary. Okay, so that area south of us is trapped as soon as the box is picked up, I'm assuming, since it didn't blow me up. As right. you back up, this Good no longer shot. glows. Shh, goes out. Mm. Beans? Any idea on how to disable one of them things? Oh. Crap to sorry, big uh, tool. The spell magic. But, um... So, Dude, don't you have that? Um, examining this uh, with your 22, I'll say, Oswin, because you roll pretty good on Arcana. Uh, do you have ritual casting? Yes. Or, yeah. or Oswin, Thank do you, you have ritual casting? Yes. Oh, yeah, you do? Uh, right. Matt knows better than I do. So, you think that uh, you can disable this uh, rune, given um, 
basically doing a 10 minute ritual and spending uh 100 maho worth of uh components okay. arcane components because you use arcane magic what do you think beans do we have uh, enough maho Oh, uh, we have exactly 100. Is it worth uh, my own? Um, I might be able to slip past it and put it on my disc. I but don't like the odds. Neither do I, because then I have to walk past it. Um, and I don't think we have anybody who can really take that damage. Not sure what that damage is. Agreed. Generally, explosive runes is force damage. Yeah. Um, but it's the amount of force damage is the question. Yeah, that you would not know. Hmm. Nick, how much would I have to pay you to walk past there? Nick is quiet. Um, thinking about <laughs> just doing it. Uh, before you do it, <laughs> let us back up. Lou, can I get light again when you get the chance? All right, so it's going to light up as Nick uh, steps there. Uh, I promise we'll it's... heal you, Nick. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm soul. not doing that. No, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. 50 goals. I ain't doing it. I'll give you 30 silver piece. I'm not doing it. What what happened to the, you're not gonna disarm it? Uh I I don't know the magic that it, it's too high level magic for me to be able to disarm it. Fuck. Yeah. All well. deception check. We'll think about it. We got a week to think about it. <laughs> Alright, sure, we can end here. Uh let's do MVP votes as we think about how we're gonna approach this uh this strange rune still no sign of those bugbear scouts but you might know what happened to them now at least or a hobgoblin scouts <sighs> yeah that was fun guys yeah yeah fun session appreciate your mm -hmm. antics like always nick yes. <laughs> <laughs> although Thank some you of you know. have done this already i think right two of you Thank you. Uh, no, I've yeah. not. You have not? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think nope. only two of nope. you have. Then Toadleaf definitely has. Juan definitely has. But I have not. Oh, so really? I'm, kinda letting oh. Them, <laughs> I'm letting when, them lead the way. When I did this with... Uh, I definitely have been here. Uh, we went over the top of the mountain sneaking around the guard posts. So we might have done the pterodactyl one, but... I have no idea what pterodactyl one is. Not right. pterodactyl, sorry. Um, oh, Weaver. whatever. Uh, all right, so Beans with two votes. You are MVP. Well done. Well, thank you. I super appreciate it. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Wait, are you talking about Beans Beans or Wan Beans? Or Wan Beans, yeah. No, Beans. Yeah, which Beans? <laughs> There's only one There's Beans. There's so many Beans. Good night, guys. Good night. Night. Uh, night. Yeah. yeah, well done. Yes. GG. Uh, let's see. Are we ending? Let me take some notes. Um, I think you also owe me an invoice. Do I? Night, guys. Oh, I gotta pay too, yeah. Oh, for, uh, yeah, yeah. So let me end the stream.